Hey, welcome back to the CP Square Podcast. I'm still not the host, Justin. Uh, today we have a special episode. We got the Coast Guard boys. Uh, today I'm with Chris. Yo. Yanel. What's going on, guys? And Joey. Hello. How's it going? And uh, yeah, this this episode, we're gonna talk, they're going to talk about their dumb fucking antics they do in the Coast Guard. Um, Chris, any questions right off the bat or any statements? Um, I want to go back to one that you said two, two, uh, it's like two days ago, or maybe it was last week, about uh, how you yeah. use a really expensive camera to look at some girl's ass. Oh, no, yeah. No, first of all, so, they were yeah. titties. So, oh. so that was back when I was, uh, so I'm coming from an 87-foot patrol boat, so we really didn't go anywhere too far. We just went up and down the east coast of the U.S., uh, so we really went to New York. Talking the mic. So we went to New York City. You can move it closer if you want. Move closer. Like you yeah, can move like your that. stand closer. Oh. If you're comfortable back. sitting back there and you need it closer. Yeah, I'm moving like this. Perfect. There you can go. you hear me now? Hello. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Your, wave, your waves are good. Perfect. So yeah, no. Uh, as I was saying, yeah. So I was on an 87, and we went up and down the East Coast from New York City, Philadelphia, Delaware. All the way down to North Carolina. So we really went up and down. And so one day, well, one patrol, uh, this is like a three-week-long mo- three patrol down to, nor- uh, to North Carolina. And we pulled into this place called Wrightsville Beach. And it's a small little Coast Guard station. And one day, uh, I'm on watch because like, we have import watches that we have to stand. And I had my buddy H with me. And so... Uh, we went down to the pier because we had to go grab some ice or something from the station that we were there for, uh, with. And so we're walking down the pier and we see this one guy looking through this pair of binoculars that you pay for. Like, like you know, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, to see like, like the yeah. ones that you, you look. What I'm talking about? Yeah, it's yeah, a, like the tourist ones. Yeah, the yeah. tourist yeah. ones that you have to like. Hey, you gotta put like a quarter yeah. for like Everybody five seconds. Grab it from the sides, like, oh, yeah, it's a. That's a sweet Empire State Building you got there. Yeah, but it, we, but we were in North Carolina, so there's no Empire State Building there. So oh. there's there's this other coasty. I have no idea who this guy was to this day, and so he's looking at something, and me and H are looking, and we're like, "What the hell is this guy looking at right now?" So we peek our heads over the pier, and we see a full on, what's it called, a bikini shoot. Like I'm talking, this guy has a professional camera, and there's a fine looking lady on the on the beach is taking these topless pictures and we're like oh no way so we look at each other and we're like this random dude's looking through a pair of binoculars bitch we got a half a million dollar camera on the ship we're gonna go look at this <laughs> through half a million dollar camera vision we're gonna catch this lady in 4k <laughs> Fuck a bitch. and so we look at each other we're like yeah we already know so we get up to the bridge, so because we're, we're sprinting back, we're like, "Yo, we 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 have to go see this right, right now." Wait, did you ever get the ice? The ice? No, we actually never got the ice. <laughs> mission I, failed. Mission, we'll get mission next time. failed. We had a secondary objective to take care of. So right, the priority list was higher on this one. Absolutely, absolutely. Titties, ice. Yeah. Am, I, am, am I allowed to say titties? Yeah, yeah. you could okay. say okay. Just okay. anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fuck. It's, I'm it's 2021. Yeah, I don't want to be allowed too to free the titty. Here. <laughs> and so. We're running up back up to the bridge, and we get up there, and our master chief's up there, and um, I'm not I'm not gonna mention his name because he's married, so I'm not gonna say his name. But he's looking through a pair of binos, and we look at him. We're like, Master Chief, you see what we're seeing? He's like, Gentlemen, of course I do. What's the what's there not to see? <laughs> <laughs> and so, so he he's was like, in on it too. Oh, oh yeah, he was staring just as hard as we were, and so. What's it called? So we we wait for him because we don't want to pop on this half million dollar camera that you're that we're supposed to use for like boardings and seeing other kinds of crazy shit on the sea. Yeah. And so uh, he walks down, he gets his fill, and so uh, what's it called? So we turn it on, and it's like an Xbox controller. It's the coolest thing ever. Like <laughs> the first day I ever got on that ship, it was like the first thing that caught my eye was this controller on the bridge, and it was linked up to this little tiny little screen. And for a half a million dollar camera, I'd, I'd I'd imagine the screen being a lot bigger. I'd imagine you use more advanced control than an Xbox controller. Yeah, it, it was it was more like an oversized. At Xbox least like controller. a joystick and like a few buttons. I mean, the thing about the military is like they dumb it down to the lowest common denominator. Yeah, and that is us. So when it comes to using multi million dollar equipment, they make it super simple. Xbox controller. 
like oh, yeah. oh and, per- that, and you're already comfortable a, with yeah, that you already know how to use it Fuck, you know what no do you, training what do you know how to do exactly. I'm video games i mean for fuck's sake i mean we're basically the equivalent of a male stripper so <laughs> yeah it's 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 that easy it's, it's not that easy but <laughs> it's that easy so anyway so we so we hop on this thing and when i did it, it was it was probably hands down one of the scummier things i've done but it was totally worth Doubtful. it. Doubtful. Cotton 4K. Doubtful. And it, dude, I mean, it, that's one way of thanking us for our service, <laughs> but shit. That was a good time. Instead but... of looking at pirates or yeah. illegal activities we on this camera, Riceville you're Beach, just looking North at Carolina, looking at two bro. mountains. Two, 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 two twin mountains. peaks. <laughs> two twin peaks. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and just to give you an idea, because I've never <laughs> been on the type of boat that Yanel has been on, but to give you an idea of this camera, it's like... When in, it's a multi-million dollar camera. You guys have camera. those on your boats too, right? Uh, we do, but probably not to the same scale. Uh, maybe my newer boat that I'm on, but definitely not at the search and rescue station Mind that I used totally to be off at. topic, that camera was always broken. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> where, where <laughs> was it just like on up on top deck yes. on, on a pole? Yes. Yep, yep. It's, so, uh, it, it's, it's on the mast of the ship, and it's at the tippy, tippy, tippy top. And for some reason, I don't know why they never thought of this, but during the winter times, everything on that boat would freeze like like there's times mm. when i was the boat mm. was so frozen over I, i've i've, I've actually have pictures of it where there was easily like two inches of ice just oh, along the man. side of the boat the guns were frozen lights were frozen you couldn't do anything we so us as being the non-rates at the time we had to go out there when it's like 15 degrees outside and at the time like we're allowed to wear these things called mustang suits so it's like really insulated things and if you were to fall in the water uh the water fills up the suit but the water doesn't leave the suit, so your body heat keeps Warms the water the water warm. up. Yep. Oh, yeah, super nice. smart. Super smart. smart. <laughs> yeah, you're cold for the first five minutes, and then you. Yeah, you, but then you're fine. Yeah. And then, then you're okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But but you're suffering for those first five minutes. Oh, dude. Yeah, absolutely. You can't do that. Water was. At, I got. Oh my god, dude. You 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 wouldn't last more than two minutes in that water. No. So oh but I wouldn't last thirty seconds. But here, but here's the thing, we were allowed to wear gloves, but all the gloves that we have on that boat. We're fingerless. Oh, oh fuck. No. So it's like 18 degrees outside. You're breaking ice. We weren't allowed to use metal hammers or anything because it's an aluminum hull ship. Oh, yeah, and you right. could just go you right through that bitch. Yeah, absolutely. Like... Yeah, we had to use rubber mallets, yeah. which makes which zero sense. Which bounce off the zero ice. Cents. <laughs> zero cents. Zero cents. <laughs> Dude, the amount of times I almost fell off on that one day. I, and I've almost fell, fallen off that damn boat more than I would like to admit to. <laughs> it's all the tequila. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the drinking. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Shit. <laughs> that's, a st- well, that's, a, that's a story for later on. There is there is a reason for the fingerless gloves, though. There is a reason for mm-hmm. everybody that doesn't know. Like, you know, the Coast Guard is a seagoing service. So a lot of the things that we do is uh, we deal with line handling. You know, mooring up the right, ship, right. towing boats. And if you have a full, full glove on the hand, you can get what's called degloved. And yeah. your skin goes with it. Yeah. So. so the whole fingerless gloves thing, while it sucks, it definitely it's serves for, it's a purpose. It's pretty smart. Oh, same yeah. thing happens with rings and bracelets and watches and yes. stuff. It's cra- like if you ever seen pictures of it, it's oh, dude, fucking that, disgusting. That happens no, on construction all the time. That's why I don't wear jewelry. Oh, jewelry. So, oh so you've heard it happen. In the oh, yeah. It's oh. gross. Oh, dude, it's the worst thing ever. Where right? you just pull off all your skin Whoa. and all your muscle and it's just a bone there. Oh, it's, it's I've, I've oh, been it's I've been half degloved. Just like my skin what got the ripped hell off. Did you Jesus do? Christ! What the I, hell did you do? I I do landscaping. If if y'all don't know, and uh, we were chipping trees and shit. We were throwing it in. I have two stories about this. We'll we'll cover this very quickly. I want I want the Coast Guard back. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> just throwing a branch in. It fucking just caught my hand and it ripped my glove off and like half my skin on my pointer. It How'd healed that feel? up. It's fucking sucked, but it healed up in like a week, week and a half. Oh, and so then, it's quick. And then another time, I was holding a branch by a Y, probably a 14, 16 foot branch, Ugh. where the branch Y is, you know? Uh, my thumb was in that Y, mm-hmm. and since it was so long, you kind of have to hold it or else it just whacks around ev- everything, and it like hits people around it, because like, it's, right. a, it's a like a conveyor belt system. You have people behind you loading up branches, waiting. Right. So I was holding it. Wait, wh- so where are you putting on these branches? Like in the truck? In a, in a big tree chipper. Oh, a bit like fuck. eight thousand pound tree chipper that just fucking shoots it out randomly wherever you point it at. <clears throat> Sounds awful. I put I put the branch in. I'm holding it. It's whacking around, whacking around, and then it twists, and my thumb is caught. It twists under, right? Kind of like a motorcycle throttle. Oh. And uh, my thumb dislocates right here at the very bottom and goes up, and I'm freaking the fuck out. I literally lift my hand up. My thumb's the opposite direction. There's right. a giant kill switch on the side. He kills it. I'm freaking the fuck out, and I just go, 
clink, put it back. And I'm like, oh, we're good. And I give them all the thumbs my up. Thumbs with, I give them a thumbs my up. Thumbs, Chris, <laughs> I give go. them a thumbs up with a broken thumb. And they're just like, no, no, what the fuck? <laughs> and <clears throat> this was like two weeks ago. This, yeah, too. no, this that was, was like recent. a month ago. This, this was a month recent. ago. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm fine. It doesn't hurt anymore, but like still, bro, my thumb was nearly ripped off by so a fucking branch. So on the branch. topic of landscaping, how often actually have have you had to work with like bamboo? Have actually, you... I I worked with bamboo probably two three months ago. It we was have such a... an oddly specific. Dude, no. So, yeah, why? So uh, so uh, so on my base because I'm stationed in Puerto Rico right Bamboo's now. Bamboo's a bitch, by the way. No, you I can hate only, bamboo. You can only put it in a tree chipper when it's green and when it's dead and brown. It clogs up the dude. Chipper. It's the worst, dude. So we had to clear out this entire patch of bamboo, and it took us like three hours just nonstop. Like we only have a a like a, a crew cab Chevy Silverado, Silverado. right? Right. Silverado made out of tornadoes and bull sharks. That thing's a hoss. Wait, there's bamboo in Puerto Rico? Yes, dude. There's bamboo act- everywhere. Yes, yeah, so oh, okay. Fun fact, fair, bamboo fair, takes fair, so fair. well in tropical settings. Okay, bamboo fair. is at, there's, so there's a whole belt of bamboo that, that circles around the world, actually. Believe it or not, what it, the fuck? It's weird. It's weird. Okay, but anyway, no. So we had to. Aren't clear- I the landscaper? How do I not know that? What the fuck? How does the coasty know it? Oh anywho, shit! Anywho, anywho, <clears throat> I don't want to express Wait. my knowledge on shrubbery. You know what the best way to get rid of bamboo is? What you got? You light it on fire. We can't do that. I'm not even joking. We can't. That, the, that, that, that's you, on a base. That sounds okay. Illegal. So, so you, that sounds incredibly the illegal. Way, the, way, <laughs> the way you would normally cut it down is with a shitty ass chainsaw. You're on your hands and knees, getting at the very base. Yeah. Because it's it's super light. It's just water. So like you right. can hold a, a 30 foot bamboo thing straight up in the air. So you cut it like that. Or what we did, it's basically a weed eater with a fucking blade at the end of that it. That sounds terrifying. It's called a bush. I think a bushwhacker. Yeah. They call it. And it, it literally sounds so terrifying. It's a high pitched scream, and the uh, we jerry rigged our bush we, uh, bushwhacker, whatever the hell you want to call it. Right. So the uh, like the weed eater motor doesn't have a governor, so it just it, it just rips. It just it goes to like twenty thousand RPMs, oh, and the God. blade is just spinning incredibly fast. And instead of just like putting it up to the branch, holding it there, cutting it, no, you just whack it. I'm not it's, even. It's, you it's, you it's literally just, right just swing it like 45 degrees and you whack the fucking bamboo it'll cut three four inch thick bamboo just like that Jesus, it's terrifying and it's just held in by one bolt cross-threaded yeah that thing's just fly off yeah it's fucking terrifying i hate my job can i I just state something real quick get off topic dogecoin is at 69 cents (gasps) nice i do so i actually sold all my dogecoin tonight yeah really i sold all my dogecoin tonight how many coins did you have uh 979 what'd you buy in at uh, I bought in when it was at like a point zero zero seven. Oh fuck! So you made like a few grand. No, I made six hundred and seventy nine dollars or some shit off of tw- like forty bucks. Oh okay, forty. Bucks. No, but now I'm gonna put all that money into Ethereum right now. Oh yeah, that's Ethereum's going up. going up a lot. Oh dude, by the end of the week supposed to be like five grand or some shit. But no, anyway. So what what what, what the fuck were we talking Back about? Back to in the, the coasties. Car? Uh, oh, so about bamboo in the Silverado? Yeah, no. uh, about bamboo. It Silverado. wasn't. It wasn't exactly about bamboo. But no, we were. We were talking about just reminiscing because this is actually the first time that I've been back in Cooper City. This is actually the first time we've seen each other in what, like two years? Uh, almost, almost two, two years. Um, should we while. talk about like our career and how we came about? So, and so, then the, so Joey and I up. go all the way back to Cooper City High, and. We met each other through ROTC, and from there, like, we, like we, we were pretty good acquaintances. Like, I like, we, like we'd see each other in the hall. We'd be like, "Hey, man, like, what's like, what's going on?" If I saw him at lunch, I'd be like, "I'd sit down with him and have it and just shoot the shit with him." Right? Yeah, we weren't the closest, but yeah. we definitely like we were acquaintances. It's it, like what you said. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a way cuter story than how Tommy and I met. Tommy and I. Oh man. Yeah, Tommy and I met, and he hated my guts. He hated what the fuck, really? Tommy and I met. Yeah, and he. I can I can understand me. that. Tommy hated my guts because I was talking to this girl, Lauren Haupt. I don't know if you guys remember her. Oh, I you remember no, her? no. Yeah, clue. I remember me, her. Me and Lauren were actually uh, pretty, Cheers. pretty like we were best friends for intimate, uh, for, not intimate. No, 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 no. Not no. yet. Definitely, not yet. <laughs> definitely friends. Uh, at least through junior year and sophomore year. Mm. So Got me you. and her were pretty close then. Oh, definitely shit, bringing, dude. definitely bringing a lot of bells. But we were not. No, we, in no, that in that no, sense. No, we definitely started uh-huh, off on good uh-huh. terms, but. What really kicked it off was definitely the Coast Guard because, coincidentally, 
this is the only guy I ever knew that was in the Coast Guard besides the guys that I was in boot camp with, which I don't talk about. Like, I don't talk to at all. Like, typically people get out of boot camp. They're like, oh, my, these are my boys. This is my family. And you're like, no, go fuck yourself. Very, very quickly, how was boot camp for you boys? Uh, boot camp? How, Dude, that how, was how, definitely how? challenging. Right. Uh, the way the best way that I like to describe it is it was the best moment in my life that I would never want to do again. Okay. Um, would you do it again for like another three weeks? Like just three weeks? Three like weeks? Right now. Negative. No, it is not worth it. To bet he would never do it. Yeah. The best moment that I, I, it is not. I think I would do it. It is not again. fun. I think you're yeah, but fucking you're fucking crazy. crazy. You're just shooting tequila at multiple times. Yeah, it's uh, boot camp is designed yeah, to not be fun. He took the restrictor plate out. Yes, I did. Uh, you know, they did. a true so man. So in Puerto Rico, they actually call me the king of tequila. I hate that so much. Because I'm okay. I love that. I'm no, a fan no, of that. For, for <laughs> you get that time, tattooed on you? Uh, I will on your ass, if, bottom if, of your foot. If, I mean, if you want to do it for me. Uh, I'll buy a tattoo gun and tattoo <laughs> King of Tequila on you. No, so for the longest time in Puerto Rico, like what I would do is for no reason, right now. for no reason, I would I would just drink bottles of tequila for no reason by myself in like oh a single God. sitting, and that's as far as I'll go with that because I <laughs> I, I like my job. <laughs> right, right. I never drove. I I never drank at work, so that's just for the record. I, at least while on the clock. Technically, you're always at work. Well, I'll, I'll drink to that. <laughs> well, you you, you are, are on leave paid. right now, so am, this is yeah, probably the yeah. one time in your life until that <laughs> until that leave time is up. Dude, leave's been absolutely buck wild. But anyway, back to what we were saying about our uh, a lot of tangents, a lot oh of God, tangents. A lot of, so of course, tangents. that's yeah. always how it very works. easy to get off the top. <laughs> very, bam, bam, bam. very quickly, what day do you leave? <laughs> on the fifteenth. All right, cool. This tattoo gun comes in on the twelfth. Oh my! God. Dude, it's I'll gonna happen. Add to cart. Bottom of the foot. Let's just go to a tattoo shop. Proceed. And... No, dude. No, to I'm tattooing shop. King of Tequila. No, go to the, go to a tattoo shop. Yeah, I'm gonna go to tattoo. Because knowing you, you're gonna fuck it up and then never fix I it. I wouldn't fuck it up on purpose. You're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tattoo, dude. You can tattoo something on me if I can tattoo something on you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ta- that's I'm a pretty gonna ta- good trade I'm gonna off. tattoo that on you. I'm gonna tattoo something on you because you let me tattoo something on me. Uh, on I'm a, you, I'm okay. I, I hate I, this. I will. I will hit proceed the <laughs> checkout right now. I will hit confirm. Order. Um, no, no, bro, don't, no, no, no. Wait, no, no, no. why not? How much though? It's sixty bucks. No, for no. a full kit, multiple needles, all the inks, everything. Listen, that's not whack. a bad price. Listen, that is not a bad price. I'm, sixty dollars. If, if you want forever, I'm buying. If you, wanna, if you, if you wanna be the tattoo artist for the crew, then yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I would you know, I draw like shit. Justin right? you can't draw. <laughs> don't tell me you bought it. Let me see your stick figures. Damn it. Don't do not do it, Justin. Yeah, he bought it. He bought it. He did it. Yeah, it's you sick. guys can't it's see, sold. but it is purchased. Yeah, it's, 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 it's and it's on its way. Jesus. But anyway, back to the story. Back to the story. Back Jesus, to we're the back story. off topic again. Justin's checking his bank account. No, I'm adding money to my <laughs> bank account. Fuck Negative off. Negative 150. On the yeah, bank. so no. I actually remember, uh, this reminds me, in boot camp, um, me and Yanel, uh, we joined at separate times. But um, we depth together though. We did we did depth. So depth is the delayed entry program. We're going on another tangent. Oh. Okay. Um, well, no, 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 it's, boot camp. it's boot camp. Go. Yeah, to everybody that doesn't understand what depth is, it's a delayed entry program, and it's basically what the Coast Guard uses to try to get you ready for boot camp. Um, it's it. pretty fun. Yeah, I it's it. not bad. You work out. You get you know a little bit of Your other people. Knowledge definitely. So whoever listens yeah. to this and you guys are actually interested in joining the Coast Guard. Uh, definitely know your general knowledge before you go in. It helps out a lot if you do, but if you don't, like they're, they're going to hammer it into you whether you like it or not. Back to you, Joey. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I like a news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> what the this fuck? this had to have been like right before, like right after I got done with getting beat, and you were about to get beat. Yeah. Um, because we saw each other. Huh? I don't know if you remember this. What? But we yes, I'll don't go into that it. in okay. a little bit. Okay, okay. okay. But Got uh, it. we saw each other in the gym locker room, dude. I remember seeing Sucks. your face, and we were like eyes open. We were like, "Whoa, what?" Like just shocked that we're in Cape May. Cape May. This was during boot camp. No way. I definitely remember seeing. I saw you. Connor Jones. He was in my company, dude. I saw Connor Jones. Yeah, Connor. When I was uh, in uh, what's it called ramp. It was either Connor or Liam, because I know that I they know. both. I know they both joined the Coast Guard. Right. But one of them was in my company. He actually got called out because for whatever reason, I kid you not, nobody knows how this happened, but he had underwear 
in his ODU pants. Like his pants uniform. That's the guy. It was sticking out of his That's pants. That's the guy. And this was during we were training. So really quick <laughs> off topic. Yeah, what is that? Wait, so what are you, so I'm so confused. Yeah, there's no, no, so, so it, many so things. it's a it's a very very it's, so it's boot camp where like no company is allowed to interact with any other company. Okay. But we always do no matter what because we always run into each other and we're always like oh like what's up dude like yeah like yeah. Well, like, like what company are you in? are you in like third week fourth week fifth week yeah that was week? a big thing in boot camp yeah. it was trying to figure out what happens the next week oh yeah, yeah. so anytime mm-hmm. you could you would try to talk to a company that was more senior than you because mm-hmm. it is a program right. and all the all the company commanders the it's people a very that beat intense us, summer camp yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. program that gets progressively harder and easier depending if you pass the the midway point. You get the nine week program or the eight week program. It's all up to you. I knew somebody on like the fifteenth week program. G. Ouch. You remember G? G. Uh, uh, what's his name? The the Russian guy. Oh and they, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we thought, yeah, I remember him. We actually thought he it, it, that was the that was the rumor around the barracks that he was like a Russian spy yeah. because dude, he, so he had, he, dude, he, had this so man, funny. he spoke fluent Russian. Fluent. He had the fluent. Fluent. He had That's cool as hell though. And dude, he was all into photography and shit too. It was really Very cool. Very cool guy. Very cool dude. I'm actually... Los Padanos. Yeah. We actually Silence. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Atlantic City with him. Do you remember dude, that? Yeah. We, that, that was the first time we, I've ever seen so, snow. So the first time mm. Joey and I ever actually fucking saw snow. We tried building a snowman, but we <laughs> failed so epically did that you, we did decided. Did you pee on it? What? Did you pee on it? No, we did not pee on it. We oh, were actually. Shut up. We were in the parking garage of uh, Caesar's <laughs> Casino or some shit. It was definitely <laughs> nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. But we instead, we gave up on the whole snowman idea. But instead, we, we, we were like, we're from Florida. Let's do a snow, snow turtle. turtle. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? We made a we fucking, fucking snow, made turtle. A snow turtle. Yes, man. And that was the best goddamn snow turtle that I Dude, ever seen in my uh, life. That's it was fucking, fucking I love beautiful. That. It, was it had beautiful. a tail it was, and everything. Dude, You're like, I don't know how to make a fucking snowman because i'm from florida but bitch you know what turtle. i can make a fucking turtle <laughs> i'll tell you what and dude from there on out it was just all up there from there <laughs> dude we saw some 80 year old motherfucker man with this what like 30 year old 25 year old lady i know it's a really big age gap but dude she was Huge young age gap. Oh, definite definite hooker dude in, in, oh my god in atlantic city new jersey no in, atlantic in the city, dead of winter so nothing we gotta set the scene like ain't nothing open in new jersey south oh, jersey specifically the in the winter time Fuck everything that. closes down dude, i'm about to kill this whole bottle of tequila myself someone needs to help let me, me get out. another shot dude i'm about no. to house this whole thing myself and i feel great my slushy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see it, but Chris has a whole slushy bottle full of rum. Yeah, he does. It's a bottle of rum that's just. A it, it was a slushy, but it melted because I took too long. Rum, actually. Hold Take on. some tequila. Don't no, be a little bitch. I don't bitch. like tequila. Yeah, tequila is not that bad. Nobody likes tequila. This, uh, except this, me. Why, why do you progressively buy tequila too. if Here, no one else it. likes it? Because no one else steals my alcohol. Why? It's a genius move. I want to cheers to that. Not like, you know, a shot is a full mouth. I know. Whoa, phrasing, dog. It's kind of ah. sus. Wait, did you just take it? Oh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I look very angry. Waiting on you. Wasn't Tommy supposed to be here? Tommy's, Tommy was Tommy's supposed to be being here. Being a little bitch. I don't want to talk about that right now. Cheers. Cheers. Fair. His his girlfriend's mom made him dinner, uh, and... which is a lie. Yeah, mo- I bet you they're at fucking Tommy's house right now. I have his location, and I shall check it. Dude, so I actually have some tea. <laughs> yeah, have what's some the tea? tea for that. So I so when Joey and I were actually on our way here. We, we came oh, no. from uh, he, he, He's at her house He's at her house I'll allow it Okay well, No what's it called So Joey and I We're driving from uh, What's it called uh, Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza mm-hmm. That place is fire Dude it was Not so sponsored good. by them But pretty good <laughs> And now to our sponsors <laughs> Anthony Coal Fire Pizza No I'm kidding I don't have no idea About that place Anywho So uh, No one wants to give us money What the fuck Yes they do I have a sponsor lined up well, fucking read it out, dog. I just haven't applied for. It. I just haven't hit yes yet. Oh shit! Hit yes. Don't be a little bitch. Anywho, so we're so we're driving on our way here, and we're coming in this direction right now. We're actually no, we're driving to Tommy's house. Cheers. Because mm-hmm. I because th- I for this entire time I thought Tommy was actually coming here. To That's come. really good. It didn't look like that. Yeah, your face does not say that the, at all. The after shot. The after <laughs> shot. It's rum, so it tastes good, and then the alcohol hit. No, alcohol hit but you. dude, I shit you not. I think I see Tommy's girlfriend in the fucking car. 
with Andrew, uh, Liam, and Cheyenne. They did all go to the beach today, so maybe maybe she went with them. I don't know. I don't know. But then when Tommy was like, dude, her fucking location says it, it's at her house. I was like, sus. Hella sus. Mad but I, sus. I'm just trying to watch out for my boy. But anyway. I don't, I don't what, card, what card did you take here? Yours? The wild buffalo? The Jeep. No, not the white buffalo. White buffalo is gone, dad's. bro. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's the white buffalo? The white, uh, the white ring. The white Jeep that oh. he had. That must have been... Before my time. No, it was definitely during your time. Oh, he had like I metal, definitely don't he had remember it. Like metal fender flares and like it was the, the whole cool. door. It was, it was awesome. Cool. Bumper. It was cool. It was cool. But you rear. know what? I really like Sandy a lot more. Sandy. Yeah, no. Her so... name's Sandy. Yeah, Sandy. Yeah, Wait, that. what do you have now? Here's another G. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got a lot this... of good memories I, made I, in dude. Sandy. Oh, Sandy, dude. Fuck Sandy man. got very Sandy. Oh yeah, she a lot did. of time. Oh, dude, Sandy was the ride in fucking like, in New Jersey. That dude. was the dude, ride. I remember we so we were actually riding around in New Jersey in Cape May, and I have an Uber sticker in my car. I noticed. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna ask for you no about reason. That. For no reason. So actually, so <laughs> interesting. So, so here's the story behind the Uber sticker. So I used to work re, like repo back in the day. Right, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. So I worked repo back in the day, and we repoed an Uber car one day. But here's the thing: after seventy after seventy two days, if a person does not reclaim their vehicle, all the property that was in that vehicle belongs to the company. Oh fuck yeah! yeah. So you're just waiting seventy two days to yeah, fucking that's like the that inside sticker. scoop right there. That is some definite inside scoop. We had a whole lottery designed for the because we have a whole like uh, what's it called a Connex box. Mm-hmm. Full of property that we were just waiting on, like we and we had to inventory all the property because it all went into big ass pla- um, brown paper bags. Right. Okay. And so we knew what was inside those bags. So we had a whole inventory of what was in it because that's all liability. Like some yeah. person would be like, "Oh, I had a fifteen thousand dollar Bretling watch. I don't even know if Bretling watches go for that much nowadays." But and they could be like, "Oh, I had this watch in here. Now this company owes me fifteen grand." So we had to make an inventory of all the stuff that was in that car so we always so we always knew what, what was in these bags and there was an uber sticker and i was like dude yeah we no all one's the, gonna miss it. we we got these laptops yeah, we, dude, no one's gonna fucking miss that no one's gonna miss a fucking uber sticker so but we but we had like the, these fucking jordans these top of the line sneakers that nobody would ever come back for and people would just Dude, I, I shit you not. People would slit each other's throats for the for all this shit because it's free shit. Who doesn't want free shit? Yeah, what yeah, the fuck? Exactly. Everybody yeah. wants free shit. It's pretty it's pretty sauce on how we got all of it. It's pretty scummy, but hey, it's the repo business. Like you know, <laughs> well, what I mean? it's not scummy. They didn't pay. Pay your damn bills. It's their not fault. Not that hard. Yeah. It's not, mor- moral of the story that's, is that that's pay my that's your my bills. title <laughs> last week. Or else your nell your nell <laughs> will steal everything. Hey, not stolen. It belongs no, to the company. No, after seventy two days, he'll <laughs> repo it and then steal it. He'll after watch 70... you on a million dollar camera and then steal from you. <laughs> half a million a dollar half camera. I'm not that expensive. Vodka. Anyway. I'm Anyways, not that. no, Kate yeah, Kate so May. we're gonna pedal back all the way back. back. To Kate so May. yes, uh, <laughs> uh, summarize. Me and Yunel met in high school. We graduated in 2017. Yep. We went to boot camp for the Coast Guard same time that summer. Yeah. Actually, yeah. the summer of 2017. No, it wasn't summertime. It wasn't summertime. I, I, cause uh, I, cause I went there in August. August and graduated October. Okay. So you were already stationed I, there. Yeah. You were already stationed I there. I was so you already were already stationed. living in Bruckenthal Hall. Yes. God bless Who's the soul. higher rank? Uh, we're, we're actually, actually the, same the same rank. rank. Damn it. I wanted seniority to take over. So time and service, Joey has me by like a few months. I have him okay. by a few months. Joey that has me true. by a few months. And dude, Bruckenthal Hall, God rest his soul because I met his family, awesome family. Uh, so the thing is with uh, Coast Guard buildings and boats is we name them all at, like uh, we name them after – they're all, all like in, memorials. Yeah. They're memorials yeah. in, a, in a sense. All of our mm-hmm. job, like, okay, yeah, they're so, all memorials. So Bruckenthal Hall, we have a so his it was actually DC three. So Joey and I are both DC. So DC three Bruckenhall uh, Bruckenthal. Go into depth what a DC is. So a DC is a damage controlman. Uh, we specialize in shipboard firefighting, uh, watertight integrity of the ship. So like if there's a hole in the hull or if there's a fire on board, we're the first responders on there. Uh, we also specialize in welding, carpentry, and plumbing. And um, we go to class for like two weeks for uh, CBNR, which is chemical, biological, radiological, and neurological warfare. Okay, quick, yeah. quick question: Is it 
are gonna sound so fucking. No, dude, you like, ask, like, ask, a, ask, like ask, a like a sieve. What's up? Yeah, because you are. Like a sieve. <laughs> <'Cause laughs> I'm a, sound like a total civilian right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, total. <laughs> was, it, was it just like ROTC where you fucking all stand out of attention? It's like, what no. is your fucking duties? And no. then you, you state exactly what the fuck you do because you just said Maybe. that so fucking uh, quickly. Boot, boot camp is like that. Boot In boot camp, camp you're, you're kind of designed to be a robot. And boot camp. No, but you, here's because the, the way you described your job was literally just like, oh, I said this a thousand times because, because I do. Yeah, <laughs> we do. because the commanding officer asked me what the fuck I did, so this is it's what I do. It's not even a commanding officer. Yeah, it's, it's just like meeting new people, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like when you meet somebody be. new, you kind of just sum your life up in one sentence because that's what you got to do every time man. because like so especially the dc rating like the job we have in the coast guard right it's a very wide diverse job like yeah like, so joey and i were actually talking about it tonight uh because he because so to make rank in the coast guard we have these things called service-wide exams yeah which is like you have to take a test of general knowledge of what you have to know as as a dc a damage controlman and yeah kaito told me a little bit about that well, Kaito's oh. like a BM or some shit, so... Is that higher or lower than you? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a different... It's a different BMs, job, yeah, but they're, they're fucking, definitely they're, lower, they're lower than, than us. us. <laughs> BMs are fucking scum. Okay. <laughs> they could be a right. first class and still be lower than a third class. A hell, a DC. Because DC's 100%. fucking rock. DC's to the max. Ooh. 100%. Ooh, yeah, 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 they brother. just high-fived. Yeah, we did. They're gonna kiss later. <laughs> Two best I friends am in the room. Over, I am staying over his we house kiss. tonight. Yo, what? Yes, we will. <laughs> kind of sus. Um, but yeah, so me too. Just in a different room. Sheesh. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> huh? Never nothing. I, nothing. What did I'm he not say? gonna ex- explain my my circumstance. Um, yeah. So we went to boot camp, and then I actually saw you. Yeah, we. Um, I was on on base liberty. Yeah. So this is when I was already it, at my station. So my my attached unit was Cape May, New Jersey, where right. the boot camp was. Okay. When I got my picks, you know, they said we could throw a football to where you're gonna be working at. Okay. So I was literally working on base. And then so during boot camp, you are allowed one like one day of liberty on base, and then you're allowed one day of liberty off base. And liberty, for those who don't know, yeah, I, 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 see, I see you going yeah. to the mic right I'm now. I'm fucking relaxing you in the that. back. I see you going to the mic And he right turns now. to me, and he's like, what the fuck is liberty? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, there's tequila. And I'm like, like, you think I know? I'm the most civil and per- civ person <laughs> civil in here, bro. What the fuck? So liberty is uh, what we're granted. Like, it's time off. Like, once you get off of work. So, like, for me. So it's freedom. Essentially, okay. Like, like one, the most to literal it for the monkey yeah, brain. Liberty. <laughs> it's literally called liberty, yeah. freedom. Because, yeah. So like, on, so, so like on the ship. Cheers to liberty. Cheers to liberty. I'll drink to the next. Hold on, one guys. Hold on one second. I'll drink the. Che- I'll drink the liberty. I love liberty. Uh, I love think this. any active duty person hears liberty. I don't, I don't know what the other branches call it, but. No, it is it is liberty. That is a universal term another, in the uh, military. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, here. But yeah, you were you were on your on base liberty for nice. thank you for boot camp, and I was stationed at my job at Station Cape May at Station Cape May, right across the street from boot camp. And on base liberty, you're allowed to go to a restaurant on base. Yeah, it's the Liberty Lounge. They have liberty, restaurants is on base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, so, it's, so it's a restaurant slash. They have to be self sufficient, dog. Oh, it's, sorry. It's a restaurant <laughs> slash sorry. bar. Yeah, it's there really is a bar. fucking cool. Alcohol, it's, yes, sir, and cheap. It's the cheapest alcohol you can get on the on Cape May. Well, it better be cheap. You're protecting our fucking country. The, dude, don't even start on the, the water exchange. pirates. Don't even get started on the exchange. <laughs> oh, the exchange is great. And the it's exchange. tax free. The exchange is tax free. Tax booze. free. Well, no tax. <laughs> None. Oh yeah, dude. So here's the thing. <laughs> Thank in Puerto you, Rico, Uncle Sam. So I'm 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 gonna totally sidetrack right now. As po- <laughs> it's okay, we do it all the time. <laughs> so in Puerto Rico, uh, we have. So I'm in. I'm currently stationed in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, Watertown, Puerto Rico. My Spanish is quite exquisite. That's, that's cool. <laughs> it's fucking dope. Aguadilla's the tits, man. But uh, what's it called? Aguadilla. Oh. Uh, we are the most profitable United States Coast Guard exchange in the entire Coast Guard. Oh. Because what the people do in Puerto Rico is they come to our exchange, buy the tax-free alcohol, because any alcohol is tax-free, and they go out and they set, resell it for, like, double the price they buy it. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. So, yeah. So, during the whole pandemic, when this whole pandemic started... um. 
people would be lined up like down the street wrapping around the entire and it's a big building it's a big fucking building and so they'll all wait in line just to go and buy booze for whoever and they'll buy like a easy six hundred dollars worth of oh, beer fuck. it's the most expensive beer run I've ever seen in my life so I don't far. know man for your party last time I spent what we spent six hundred dollars on the jet fuel yeah that was a lot. Well, the jet fuel itself was a hundred bucks, and then everything else added up to six hundred bucks. No, dude, the jet fuel was mad expensive. The jet fuel was not that expensive. I took a photo of the receipt. And it was like three hundred bucks for just the liquor. It wasn't that expensive. I don't no, but this you. party though, it's it's it might be a little bit more. Oh low yeah, key. it's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Wait, yeah. are you guys making jet key. fuel? It should not uh, be. No, low so key. we're actually. Who has our tin? That's a great question. Who the fuck has the ten? Dude, I have no. I haven't been here in the past two years. Right. Who the you, fuck has the ten? Do you no, think no. it's dumb cunt bitch whore? No, what's Who's called? dumb cunt bench whore? Your dumb cunt. Leor? No, 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 yeah, that one. Maybe. Fucking uh, Liam has Andrew's like Gatorade jug where like, you know, like on the sports games, like they have like the Gatorade and the big jug. Yeah, yeah. They can press the knob and it like the valve opens yeah, the, up. And yeah, the five work. gallon bucket. Yeah. That's what, so that's what I want to do. I just want to get a bunch of booze and I'm going to get a bottle of Everclear. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm yeah, calling out Sunday. I'm yeah. calling out Sunday. I don't work Sunday. No, no, dude, it's Everclear, bro. It doesn't give you a hangover. Fuck you. It's like 200 proof. It's one one ninety. Suck my dick. Fuck you know what that is, Justin? That's like ninety percent. It's rubbing alcohol, alcohol basically. Yeah. That's just like it's flammable. So actually, so the first day is I it? I'm gonna spit it out. And <laughs> Justin, do it lighter. First of all, most alcohol no, is no, flammable. No, no, no. So it's it's flammable. Everybody. So get this. So so get this. So the first. So is gasoline. So. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. So the first time I actually ever got my hands on Everclear was in Puerto Rico because we have it there for like six. It's so dirt cheap. I'm sorry. There. Did you say six dollars? It's six dollars. It's oh, okay. cheap. What about it, absence? I don't know. I can ask for the guy to get it for me. Is is super white, uncultured man question? What's up? What's the currency in Puerto Rico? Is it is it, <laughs> is it pesos or is it dollars? Uh, so actually, it's the Puerto Rican pound. Puerto Rican pound. Yes, abs- they have their own. I'm kidding. Stuff. I'm Dude, kidding. I, uh, <laughs> it's the U.S. dollar. Okay. I was gonna say. I know we're a territory, <laughs> but the, I it still is a don't. It's U.S. Know. territory. It is a U.S. territory. They actually, have, they actually exchange money in bamboo shoots. <laughs> they do bamboo shoots, yeah. <laughs> Baby no, ones are the sense. So the, for, so I walk so up dude. with a thirty foot fucking bamboo. It's like, oh, you could buy the whole lot with this. <laughs> Fuck yeah, sir. So you guys know me. I I I like to throw parties. I I I like to. Yeah, you fucking do. Yeah, I like to throw. I'm gonna bring my camera and film it, dude. Fucking there's do it. a send it. There's been a lot of parties with you now. Oh, dude, this, dude, we haven't dude. Even, we haven't even gotten the Kate May stories. Here's yet. the. We've already discussed your party. This and is also a two hour special. Or we haven't even gotten one. We haven't two even, hours, bitch. We it, gotten it's, not two, it's not two hours officially. It's however long we're going to fucking. Dude, we're going to have yet to go. It's through however through long until my girlfriend gets here and then you're kicking kicking your asses out. To, to ha- have her on the podcast. The old ball and chain. The old ball and chain. Out. I'll Absolutely. tell you what. Yeah. You know, I see the tapestry behind you. Wow. 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 Yeah, we haven't even gotten through boot camp yet. No, okay, go no, through boot camp. Quit. No, I'll, wait, I'll quit no, I'm, no, I'm not no, done with my gotta, fucking Everclear story ever yet. Clear, this ever is going to take two seconds. Yeah. So, this is the first time I ever found out about Everclear. This is 21-year-old me. I'm still fucking finding out how to drink, hypothetically. Anywho. So Legally speaking. Hypothetically speaking. We say hypothetically here. So, like for the for majority Allegedly. of these stories... Joey and I are going to be uh, are, are going to be speaking in the hypothetical term, right? Of course, because it could have all happened, right? Yeah, yeah, hypothetically, yeah, yeah. hypothetically, when, yeah. of course. But worst um, case what, scenario, worst case scenario. <laughs> I don't it, know about worst. This is a best case scenario. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, but it never did. We There's titties episode, in these conversations. Oh, hypothetically, hell, hella titties. So it's the first time I'm finding about finding about Everclear. Yeah. And this is a lot of like new for everybody because everyone sees it and all the bottles. I got a Tinder match, boys. Let's go. What's Sorry. up? What you got? I don't know yet. Ask her what her favorite anime is. And so, ask her what's what it her called? So this is. is the first time anyone's ever actually drinking Everclear at my party because I'm mixing it in with like cranberry juice and vodka. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the bottle. I'm like, it says it's flammable, and everyone's like, no way, it's not flammable. And I was like, <laughs> bet. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> So I go outside and fucking, what's it called? There's a group of six of us just standing outside in the middle of my front yard. I'm like, yo, guys, there's no way this shit's flammable. I pour it all over my hand because it's $6. I have like three of these bottles. Oh, but why? Whatever. Why I pour just, it all, I pour it all over just my let hand. Him. Just let them. And I take a lighter and boop, my entire hand doesn't just turn orange. It turns fucking purple. 
Oh. The fire for this shit's purple. It looks like hand sanitizer. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, like you guys burned hand sanitizer before, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude. dude. I had a terrible childhood, of course. Of course, dude. It burns like hand sanitizer. And instantly, I regretted my decision because I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This shit fucking burns. And everyone's just sitting there dying laughing because I'm the only one on fucking fire right now. And I'm running around my front yard like, oh, it fucking hurts. Why would you not go in the backyard where there's a body of water? There's you no literally... body of water in my house. You ha You have a pool. I live on an island. Oh, Puerto Rico. Gotcha. Puerto Rico. Yeah, you live in an island. Go to the fucking sea. It's yeah, all, the ocean can't be it's Walk like, three miles. It's, it's like it's a 150, an drop, 150 foot drop off the side of a cliff. That's I'm okay. Like, you have to send me Snapchats of that. That sounds Dude, I'll show you pictures later. Maximum man. velocity is 3.94 meters per second. Jesus oh, wow. <laughs> Anywho, back to Cape May. I love Cape May. Yes, Cape so... We so have to go through these Cape May stories because, dude, they are fucking legendary. I got so many stories about Puerto Rico, but, dude, Cape May. Cape May is where all the OG shit happened that made us into the coasties that we are today. Oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. Love how they is that the slang? They always refer themselves to as coasties. Yeah, is, it's that, really is that what they fucking call themselves, coasties? No, that, it's not what we call... Or is that just what you call yourself? No, that's, that's what, what, that's we what are. people that's what say. We are. That's like the plural term of... Multiple we people are on the America's Coast Guard. Guardian. It is Coasties. We right. are. We are. Anybody that doesn't say stand. Coasties doesn't know a co person in the Coast Guard, and that's facts. You know what I hate when people say, uh, "You Coast Guards" or uh, "You uh, what, 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 what's the other one? Uh, Coast Guards men." No, I've I've Coast heard that before in I, California. Co Dude, the worst part was when someone referred to me at uh, what's it called. They were like, "Oh, <clears throat> you're in the Coast Guard." My daughter's in the Air Guard, and I was like, "What Air the guard? fuck is the Air Guard?" <laughs> I would have spit in his face. <laughs> the I Air Guard. Like, what? You were disgrace. Disgrace. No, no, no. I won't even spit in your direction. Well, it's actually funny, you the know. The air guard. The air guard. Dude. I was like, how <laughs> dare you compare me to such... It says it on the thing. Oh, my God. It was it's, disgusting. It's funny, too, because the Coast Guard is literally the smallest branch of yeah. the military. So, and, actually, fun NYPD. Fact, fun yeah, there you go. Oh, there's a fun fact. The fun Everybody fact. loves to bring this up. NYPD has a higher employed workforce than the, than the people that are no enlisted way. in yep, the coast guard the new york police department is bigger than the coast guard that's wow. fucking funny that kind of sucks that's fucking hilarious no that's fucking awesome yeah it just makes, it? Us, How, it makes us what? that How? much it's more it's unique so, so it's actually really cool because dude joey knows people that <laughs> i knew back in my boot camp company. yes yes we've had this yeah we yeah, yeah. we literally facetime with people that's here. like so one of the sayings that we have in the coast guard is small guard it's a small guard it's a small guard because there is somebody that you know that knows somebody else that you know mm -hmm. if that makes sense it's crazy. like everybody knows somebody that you know mm -hmm. because it's that small of a coast guard Absolutely. so it makes it makes it more of like a community setting but it's, that also means you have to really watch out with, with what you do because that means your reputation actually yeah. really carries out what you do and what you because say because typically if you ever switch states to go to different jobs and shit like oh like new start new me kind of deal you know what i mean yeah typically yeah. but no with with, with our job a lot of the times, your reputation will actually carry with you mm -hmm. to your next place because people will be like, oh, you're so-and-so, aren't you? And like, I've heard stories about you, which has actually happened to me a lot. That goes, that goes to New Jersey. <laughs> but it wasn't work-related. It wasn't work-related. It always goes it was, back to it Jersey. It always goes back to Jersey, dude. <laughs> Fucking the girls in Jersey, man. I have a reputation in Jersey that will oh always forever follow me because, dude, I remember – uh, I, wasn't dating. I was I was talking with this one girl Vanessa, and uh, what's it called? And Vanessa and I like we we got along well. I, I definitely wouldn't put a label on us, but uh, I mean I definitely third wheeled damn. in a lot of That's those so outings. Don't even get me start about third wheeling because we had that one date in Delaware that fucking was, went horrendously wrong. Dude, oh, that's right. We hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. We'll get that in two seconds. <laughs> I completely forgot about that fucking dude, I, story, I dude. I still tell people story about that. That day. is a fucking <laughs> amazing story. And so what's it called? So <laughs> this girl Vanessa and I, we were talking for a little bit. We never had an official title. We we definitely got along really well. But one day there was this girl that worked at a restaurant that I always went to after duty. I went to a, re a restaurant like after duty. What what is duty? That's it. That's dude, poop. Stop. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Stop. 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 Anywho, so oh, another another tangent. That's crazy. No, we're not going on another tangent right now. I'm going to tell the story. 
I'm going to finish. I mean, you guys are fitting the description of this podcast so perfectly. We don't talk about one story the entire time. We, oh, dude, it's we all side, over the dude, place. Dude, side dude, I got, I got, so I got to tell this story because, dude. And it's crazy. Literally, I went on. Honestly, that's what makes it here, awesome. Here is a good explanation of Cape May right now. Cape May is such a small town. I was talking to this one girl, Vanessa, and there was this other girl. I completely <laughs> forgot her name. I'll call her I'll, I'll call her B for right Betty. now. Betty. Yeah, there you go. B. Works perfect. That works, yeah. And so Betty I know and Betty I Betty I want to fuck the shit out of. <coughs> huh? Was that was Nothing. that was that the uh Asian girl that no. worked at that place? Yes. 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 So I remember her. Yeah, you remember, I remember dude, her. Dude, she's hot. She she was really hot. Anywho, I can, anywho, I can so her, so I one day I asked this girl to go out on a date. Right. And we went out to go get sushi, this and that. And the next morning, I shit you not, I shit you not, the next morning, Vanessa hits me up. And she's like, so you went on a date with B? Oh, I hate uh, that. Uh, uh, and I was like, uh, I was like, how the <laughs> fuck did you just dude, hear about women this? women know everything and I hate it. Dude, and no, come to find out, they were ballet dancers together. They were ballet wow, partners. Wow, Dude, and so then from there on out. No, I'm not going to lie, dancers, super flexible. Anyways, dude. carry on. Don't 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 get into details. Right now. Anywho, so that's crazy. From there on out, dude, everybody in the fucking Wildwood, Cape May area knew about me. So one day, I I went and met Nolan's girlfriend for the first time. This is when they first started dating. Nolan's an old buddy of ours. He's a I don't even know what the hell he is now. Mm-hmm. Anywho, I meet her for the first time, and I don't even know who this girl is. And she's like, "Wait a second, are you you know?" And I was oh, like, no. I was like, who's asking? And it's like, oh, don't worry about it. I know you're Vanessa's ex-boyfriend. And I was like, boyfriend? Fuck. Hold up. And she's like, don't worry. I hated that girl anyway. She's a bitch. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dude, and from there on out, dude, it ruined it for almost, oh, for a lot of coasties. Because Joey was dating somebody in Atlantic City, which is like 40 minutes away from us. Yep. Right? And right. then, it, yep. dude, the next, the next memorable moment that I had was, um, I went to this uh, 24-7 fucking 30, 365 day a year Christmas store in Cape May that we have. It's what always the, open. It's, it's the coolest thing okay, ever. That's pretty it, cool. It's a Christmas store open throughout the year. It's so cool. I walk in there. I'm checking out because I'm buying some stuff for my buddy Brewster. Brewster, if you're going to listen to this, fucking love you, buddy. And um, he Great fucking guy. Great, great dude. Guy. I love Brewster. I met, I met Brewster a earth. lot of times. Dude, salt of the earth, absolutely. Earth. Dude, fucking Love legend. Love that fucking guy. Two, Never met him. Two salt ki- of the earth. Dude, get this. Two kids. Sorry, Brewster. Two kids. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Don't here we go. off the story by <laughs> apologizing to What's him. up? What's up? What's two up? Two kids up, Brewster? at 22. Oh, with two different women. Oh, <laughs> oh two men. Yeah. Oh, two men. Yes. Yo, I'm legend. drinking of that. Dude, Yo, cheers the Brewster, dog. Cheers the Brewster. Yo, I'm. This is for you, buddy. This is for you. Dude, Brewster was my fucking dog, man. At first, he hated my guts. Fuck At yeah, first, Brewster. You him. better send him this podcast. Oh, I will send him the podcast. I'll uh, 100% will. What time is it? Uh, no, on the uh, the bottom left. What does that say? Uh, 48, 48 minutes. Dope. Dope. Anywho. Can I, get a, can I grab a Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Bruce is my fucking hero. But anywho, so I'm so I'm, I'm at this fucking gross, uh, this Christmas store. And so, what's it called? This girl's ringing me out. She's like, are you, you know? And I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no! Who the fuck's you know? <laughs> That's <laughs> not fucking me. That's a dumb name. Who, who is that? <laughs> who the fuck I'm, names I'm, that kid? I'm Enriquez. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, he's just some fucking dude here in the Coast Guard. He really fucked over my my ex girlfriend, uh, Vanessa. <laughs> ex girlfriend, like old friend, old friend, old friend, old friend. Because I don't know why, but girl, girls call the girlfriends fucking girlfriends, whatever. Cut that out. <laughs> Anywho. Time? <laughs> 48, 49, Got 0, it. Got it. And so, what's it called? So, that, that, that went from there, and I was like, well, I really fucked it up for everyone else. And so, it <laughs> went on from there. Because after you left, dude, people were like, dude, P- you know you know. They, they were like, fuck no, you. No, yeah, coasting. so we were there at two years at that point, and Cape May is a very small town. It's like 3,000 people, 5,000 yeah, people? Yeah, it's, it's not a big town whatsoever, so na- so your name spreads very quickly, uh, and the way that Yanel was going through life is 
He was going through everything that moved at that point. I have and standards, by the way. Fucking anything that walked. I Pretty have standards. <laughs> it's so, I have standards. In a, in a town of 3,000 people. Yeah, standards. People, they stand. For two years. <laughs> <laughs> Like Sorry. your your name goes quick in two years, like in in a town and of you three thousand people. And you know, it's not a very it's a very common. unique it's a name, very, not very unique common. name. So people knew you. I was like, you know, you gotta leave this city. It's, it's French, right? It you is French. It, so my family actually goes back to the French Revolutionary War. It's very sidetrack. Very Side, yo, little yeah. sidetrack. So now uh, let me tell you about the French Revolutionary, <laughs> dude. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> History, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, no, dude. All right, so <clears throat> Joey found me when I was on Off Face Liberty. He oh, found we're me. going back to yeah, this topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so twenty I minutes was on ago, Off Face Liberty. And so, what's it called? Yeah, we're, we're going back to the story because we're going to go to Kate May's stories right now because those are fucking. <laughs> we're going to get there at some point. Let's get through boot camp. I'm going to force my way <laughs> That's there. That's true. Right we haven't got through boot camp. Right? boot camp. How was Water Week? Water Week. Uh, water Week. I was about to say some very derogatory things that I should probably not say right now. Nah, bro. How was Water Week? Speak water your week mind. was great. Water Week? Whoa, whoa, dude, it was great. It was fucking phenomenal. <laughs> That's a lie, bro. You know, I, I know you were dude. holding up cinder blocks while swimming with only your feet, dog. No, Come so on. we actually didn't do that. We, really? Okay. Justin, I've only seen that in movies. I know. I'm like, Justin's <laughs> seen wasn't. the one movie where they, where they fucking have to push the cinder block on the bottom of the pool, and then they got... And only one of them can go up for air, and the guy just sits there for eight minutes off of like one thing of breath. That's definitely yeah. not the Coast Guard. Anywho. I know that's the that's the oh, that's what Justin was referencing though. Yeah, I know. So what's it called? Again, so Water again, Week was Sid. great. Uh, a lot of the uh, colored f- people, right? Um, they definitely a lot of them dropped out because a lot of people you'd be surprised didn't know how to swim. They got into the Coast Guard and they're like, I don't know how to swim. Is it? Shouldn't is, you know? I, how I to assume do that? it's just like I'm done. No, 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 then, no, no. So they, they actually they just dude, leave. No, no, they like, take. Like, week. what do you say? No, so the, actually, they would start at like what four o'clock in the morning. Fuck. Yeah. So what he's talking Death. about is remedial swim. Yeah. So when you fail the swim test in the Coast Guard, they give you a chance to retake it, but you have to take this extra class essentially at four a.m. in the morning. You have to wake up extra early in the morning. Yes. Mind you, what we go to bed at like ten. We go to bed. At, they stop. They're legally obligated to stop beating us at 10 beating us they would beat us like fucking dogs dude. yeah beat us like we dogs. that's a term that we use for boot camp because it was literally beatings one person would fuck up and the rest of the yeah. 85 of us would have to pay for that one person yes. fuck up. yeah 100%. which is great which is great because because uh, we would grow to hate that person <laughs> uh, I, was, I was gonna say like team up. building or like no, something inspirational. No. Team building. Instead, y'all just was, went it nah. Really showed fuck who this the guy. Shit bag was yeah, in the yeah. There's right. a term in the military. It's called shit bag. Shit. I'm definitely a shit bag. No, and, and, uh, and in boot camp, it's sandbagging. I'm sandbagging definitely a sandbag because it's what carries you down. Yeah, it is what yep. holds wow. you down. I got deep real fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so what they say to us in boot camp is like your chain is as strong as the weakest link. Right, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Because that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Because if one chink's, if one link is weak, oh, it's gonna break at that link. Absolutely, absolutely. So it just takes that one person to fuck up. Yeah. So especially for us, because Joey was at a small boat station, I was on an eighty-seven. We were supposed to be there on scene, whenever we were called. Well, upon. let's talk about it. So, you know, our your eighty-seven. It's. Uh, 87. So we defined certain cutters in the Coast Guard. Shout out to the Shearwater. Uh, she she was an awesome boat, but she's currently decommissioned. That was the queen of the fucking fleet. Yes. Right F in the chat for sure. Yes. F in the chat. So 80, 87 is a 87 foot boat mm-hmm. that you were on. It was a search and Beautiful rescue boat. boat. Absolutely. It was made for search and rescue. I got stationed at a small boat station <clears throat> that was also for search and rescue. Which you guys actually had to save us one time, by the way. Yes, we did. Uh, that's a different story, though. Um, I'll get to that. But so that's I'm actually sure after boot camp. That is how me and you really. That's how you we. And I. That's that's how we got this you know friendship started because you got stationed on the Shearwater, the eighty-seven, mm-hmm. out of Cape May, New Jersey. And I got stationed out of small boat station Cape May, right right next to you on the pier. Which is really ironic because, first of all, him and I are both from 
Hollywood, well, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Broward County. Broward County. Yeah, that's Broward. better. That's better. Yeah, we're all from Broward County, so it's really ironic because he was my neighbor, like literally right across that's the funny. hall from me. Yeah, we got we got put on the same the same barracks, which is essentially like. The closest thing I can compare it to, because I've been to a lot of them, college dorm. It was. It, it yeah. really wasn't. Dude, I got some fucking stories. For there is whole... some stories to come out of that. The, yeah, we were put in the barracks, which was like a college dorm. It was a I was bedroom. in a fucking toga outfit. In those <laughs> wow. No, that yeah. was during, that was during one outage. of the power outages. <laughs> yeah. All those cameras were off. I, I kept hearing a whole lot of screaming in the hallway, and I was like, what is I going on? I was carrying a big giant speaker that I had. Yeah, you were just holding a speaker, and I walk outside, and I just see Yanel in a toga outfit holding... A obnoxiously large speaker. I love so, how I can just picture that. No, so here's the thing. Yeah, absolutely. So, so in the barracks, we had these fucking speaker wars. It was a it was a, it was a, <laughs> it was a real war. thing. It was a real thing. It Very was a, real we thing. We had one guy in there that spent three thousand dollars just on a fucking speaker system <laughs> just to outplay everybody. No. Yep. Just to, yes. Yes. I guarantee, yes. No, yes. it's a real thing because sound complaints did not exist. No, they never existed. You know what? We actually did get a sound complaint one night. We did. What night was that? Uh, it was between me and Trey Evans. Oh, I must have been on duty. It was us, dude. Him and I were just. Oh, I must up. have been working. Sorry. Yeah, I must have been working <laughs> while you were partying. Uh, it happens, dog. Happens, happens to the best of us. It happens a lot. <laughs> and so, uh, what's it called? Um, no. So one night, him and I were just chilling out, just having a great time. I'm not gonna go into detail what what the fuck we were doing, but you were, you were playing music. Tequila was definitely involved. Was tequila involved? No, hypothetically, yes. te- tequila might have. Hypothetically, might have been hypothetically no, tequila was never involved until. <laughs> Don't Puerto- lie to us. And not involved until Puerto Rico. So hypothetically, Joey and I were actually into Rumble Mints. I'm sorry. Yeah. What the fuck, what? Is, what the fuck that? is that? You're just Rump- jumping from stories. Are you gonna finish the Trey the Trey Evans story? No. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I love I already it. Said okay, too yeah. Much. So let's go to let's go to Rumplemans. So Rumplemans, Rumplemans is so, what made this relationship dude, actually. Dude, Rumplemans is what it's made what this crafted. Story. What, hypothetically made this. Hypothetically, story. that is what crafted this relationship. Absolutely. What is Rumplemans? You know, this is a peppermint schnapps. And for anyone who's listening, yo, to that this, sounds awesome. No, anyone who's listening Uh-oh. to this right now will know that peppermint schnapps, uh, Rumplemans, is no joke. It's what eighty proof or ninety proof. 98. 98. This man had the number on his head. Dude, because I'll tell you what. Chris is going to Google it. I had. He's looking at car parts. Sorry. Yes, my. Uh, the, the two years can be defined as Rumplemans. So, yeah. Literally named yeah, my car after it. Yeah, so Joey actually named his car after Rumplemans, which is crazy because. He actually had a sloth attached to the front of his car that we that we put on there drunkenly after Rumplemans, and we named the sloth Rumpy. Yes, nice. it was Rumpy the sloth. Rumpy the sloth on the sloth mobile. On the sloth mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Which he, this is a cool fucking bottle. It's a it's German, dude. Yeah, dude. It's, Rumplemans it's is German, no joke. And oh, it's, yeah, that's sick as fuck. It's cool. He just pulled it up on his butt. But yes. it's a peppermint schnapps, which hypothetically I. Uh, Put into hot cocoa all the time because it's peppermint. So it added right. that. Okay. It added that peppermint flavor to your hot cocoa. It's 100 proof, so it's 50 oh percent alcohol. God. There you go. So we, I was actually wrong. So it was very strong. And Joey and I would buy, hypothetically, buy the uh, strongest bottle, like the biggest bottle we could find. And him and I would just house the whole thing between the two of us in a single night. In a single night. Wow. Single sitting. It was absolutely. And it got to the point where him and I had nine or ten bottles hidden in my couch. So why why did you hide them in your couch? Because we weren't allowed to have these in our, our barracks. Yes. We weren't allowed – because the barracks rules is that you're not supposed to have more than like a six-pack of beer over 6% alcohol. Right. Okay. So exactly that. And so we – Joey and I would just fucking – what, every other week, every week? Once a week? Every weekend. Every single weekend. Sometimes weeknights. And the worst part was, it wasn't the drinking part. It was the getting rid of the bottles. Oh my god, that was that was a, because, that was a mission on its own. 100%. Because you're on the boat, 
No, no, no. We're in a barracks. No, he's in barracks. We're yeah. in a barracks. Oh, that's not on the boat? I thought no, you were it's... stationed on... Okay. So, no, 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 so, no, no, no. so, so... So we live in a barracks. Yeah. Yeah, so he's on a boat. I was at a station, at a small boat station. But when he's not deployed... Saving lives. Doing, doing whatever he does on his 87-foot boat, he lives at the barracks. Doing whatever the fuck you do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude. Caitlin Bain, do you remember? And then you just stay at the barracks until you're assigned somewhere else. Yo, do you remember Mona Lisa? No. Who the fuck was that? All these code names. Mona Lisa. So you don't remember her? Maybe the story will jog your memory. So there was this girl at the barracks. Right. Um one day. Really quick. Really quick, really quick. So my god. In in our barracks. In the barracks, we would receive med hold students. Uh, we'd receive uh fucking what's it called uh pa students which are physical assistant students and they would come to the barracks and they in a lot of the time uh all all the time the entire time they were all female oh. the barracks is a small place it's very big, small very small oh i feel like Word i know it's very quick I, I feel like i know what's happening in you gotta so, understand we're all eight like most of us are 18 year olds yeah i know what's happening we like, were 21 at the time <laughs> yes we were 21 at the time and so, what's it called? And so, we had these girls that would come in, and it's a small barracks. So Are you sure you don't remember Mona Lisa? Uh-uh. Interesting. No. No. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no, I don't remember Mona Lisa at all. Interesting. Anywho, so, we, we, so, we would get these girls. Yeah. And so, oh. a lot of times they were very attractive girls. and We didn't have many girls. Pick your words we wisely. Had, we had Y. There was Y. Is Y. And there was A. Ah, oh, yes, there was A. <laughs> oh god, I, I, I love a. these god. code my, names. My I a. love it. Do you remember my A? Yeah, I remember A. I remember yeah, a. I remember a. there were multiple A's. A. There's multiple A's. My A. His A. But anyway, married now with a kid. We would have barracks. Married with a kid. Barracks. Not bunnies. mine. Not mine. Thank Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to get this clear. Barracks. What? Bunnies. Barracks. Bunnies. Oh yeah. I heard, <laughs> I heard about this the other it. night. Barracks Got barracks. it. Or barracks rats. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm, depending night, on their looks. Pretty, that's pretty. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. So we had barracks rats. So had <laughs> He's barracks like, you rats. know what? It's better if I don't say yeah. it. Barracks rats. Barracks rats for sure. And so pretty degrading. <laughs> it's pretty degrading. Look, it's fine. You didn't say actual names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They no knew names. what they signed up for. <laughs> Anywho, so we had barracks rats, anything. and so what's it called? So one night I was playing video games with the boys, and so um, like you do, always as was, you do, yeah. It was like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, as it is. And I went to go do laundry. Good. Because I do laundry as like, one does. As one does at in four the in the barracks, morning. In the barracks. Because what else are you gonna do at four in the morning? I'm, it's Saturday. I'm fucking off. Yeah. Anyway, so I go down to the fucking laundry room, and I see this girl C. Okay. She's down there. Candace. She's doing my boy, my boy N's laundry, and I'm like, uh, hey, what's up? And she's like, oh, nothing much. She's doing N's laundry right now, and I'm like, okay. It's fucking 4 a.m. in the morning. It's 4 a.m. Why are you questioning her if you're going to do the same thing? Because she's not supposed to be there. Oh, (laughs) because women. (laughs) She's not supposed to be there. And I'm like, okay, cool. What are you doing uh, next weekend? Guess what I was doing next weekend. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Wow. Interesting. (laughs) Oh man! Uh, Xbox oh, record man. that. Xbox record that. <laughs> dude, it's it's, it's easy. It's easy. Uh, so is that uh, easy? <laughs> dude, barracks bunnies are a real thing. They're a real um, thing. They're also called uh, morale gear. Oh yeah, they no, are called morale, so mor- gear. morale gear. Morale gear. I'm, I'm gonna let you all on a little company secret right now. Oh yeah. Female coasties. What about them? Morale gear. They're oh, morale okay. gear. You, All right. Yeah. Do you know what morale gear is? I could. I can. Un, I understand what it is. I got it. Are I have, you? I'm have, picking up what you're throwing down. I have an idea. Chris, yeah, explain but to us what morale. What no. You think why morale don't, yeah. Let's hear now. what your definition of morale gear is. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass on that. 
<laughs> you already said it. You're the show. expert. No, it's no, better no, if it comes no, from no, your you mouth. You guys are the expert. Come no, on. no, no, we're not the experts. We're just here talking right now. What, what do you think your definition of morale gear is right now? Morale gear? Let me let me guess. Let me guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a guess. They, they come around. Yeah, they do. But who? Who who comes around? The, yeah, they the, do. The female coasties and or uh, bunnies. And they 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 lift your spirits up to say, you know, they lift something up. They, they lift bring, something. They up. bring up the morale. They bring yeah. up they the morale. They bring something up. I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. Anywho, so yeah. <laughs> Yo, Anyways, Mona Lisa. Uh, Mona Lisa. <laughs> Who the fuck is Mona Lisa? So let me tell you about Mona what Lisa. Is that? So there was dumb this fucking photo with no eyebrows. It's a six by eight. Shut the fuck up. What is this? I don't know. Can I see that eight? one? That's how big it is? Joe Dude, it's so a, uh, it's super small. What? Dude, it's like this big. Like, what the fuck what is the this? Fuck? Why yeah. is the Mona Lisa so small? The Mona Lisa is small as fuck. Hold on. I'm Googling how Sorry. big the Mona Lisa no, is. No, you're totally good. We got to figure out what the Mona Lisa is to understand the story. This is fucking Cali Joe- vapes? No, that's a Florida vape. This is a Florida vape? This thing's fucking ass. It's yeah, terrible. it's Florida. <laughs> oh my God. It's 2.6 by 1.9. Yeah, it's tiny. It's two. It's three inches by two inches. Why is the Mona Lisa so fucking small? I'm gonna go pee on the Mona Lisa. I, I actually have to go. Where where's right it now. located? France. I feel like France. That sounds Chris, like a is good it guess. Okay if, if he's the bathroom for you. Bro, I use that bathroom yeah, all go the time. For it, dog. <laughs> it's a good bathroom. It is very involved. big. Sometimes I don't even. Sometimes I don't even walk out that far. <laughs> Fuck, dude. He's, talking, I, he's talking about the uh, the exterior door in his bedroom. He just pees outside of it and he stands still in his room. Well, when, when I'm really drunk, I just go out there and piss just Bro, like that, dude. I hate how I can hear his stream. That's really the strong. Mic, I think Yo, the, the nice, mic, nice stream, dog. You got a solid form going on. So I bet the mic could hear it too. It is very loud, dude. What the fuck? You didn't even close the door. You know he's not no even peeing. He's not even peeing on the grass. He's peeing on the rocks. <laughs> oh my he's god! He's peeing on is. the bikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those bikes are old as fuck. Our our old front uh, door is there. My mom wants to fuck a window from it for some reason. Of course. Yeah. Yo, Yen, relax, Spanish dog. Just... <laughs> Spanish having an orgasm. Are you outside putting a timestamp? <laughs> no, I don't care. I just think it's funny. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Is it supposed to burn? Definitely oh, dude, no here, burning. I got, I got Who'd a you shot. have sex with in the past day? I have a shot that'll help that. Don't worry. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that know, sucks. Who have you had sex with in the last month? Let's say yes. month. How many bodies have you How many bodies in the last uh, month? Because you definitely went over this with me How today, How often actually. is your morale raised? There was that, those That's individuals the with the keys. You've, probably you've been... that one individual that you talked to me about. Oh, and which then, one? The and then that year old? No, the MILF, the two individuals with the keys. What about the Cooper let me girl? T- let me guess. I'm guessing it's four to five. I like this. I'm guessing he's is. a gentleman and only one. No, it's definitely at least four. <laughs> I'm I'm saying four in he the last two He weeks. definitely finished, went, finished herself, and then took a nap. <laughs> I would like to say Justin's absolutely correct on this, and he deserves hey, really? the $500 prize for the night. Yay. It was supposed to go to some lucky listener tonight, but... Uh, Damn! <laughs> um, Justin definitely got it. Um, it's it's definitely been an eventful trip this uh, <sighs> month because I took thirty days of leave, which I don't know how many people take thirty days of leave. And Joey's totally t- toking from two different nicotine devices. <laughs> what a true man! What's the Here, max? What's the max amount of days you can take on leave? Uh, the max amount of day of leave you can take is. I feel thirty is pretty good. Thirty days is actually the time you have to take. What a man! To, until you actually have to like write a act like an actual chit for leave. And what's so, a chit? A, a chit is a, a permission from Daddy Coast Guard. It's like a doctor's note, right? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> essentially, you have to ask permission. Like, hey, I'm gonna take thirty days of vacation right now. Um, I'm gonna be gone for this long. And that's really just about it, and the command has to prove it. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I took the max amount. I have eighty-five days of vac- leave, so eighty-five vacation. Oh, days. You I have, have a lot. Five days of vacation. Time. Honestly, I'm gonna be frank with y'all. Um, <laughs> take them back to back. <laughs> what's it called? No, I can't. So oh, I can't. you can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And so, uh, can I just speak about leave real quick? Oh, what's up? While we're on the topic, yeah. So. In regards to leave, a lot of people can stack it up because they don't put it in the system. I know a friend 
a close friend who, uh, not Yunel, who definitely does not put it in the system and they can stack, they stack up leave days. Not like me though. Yes. Like <clears throat> they stack it up. So you could have like 90 days in the bank. No problem. Oh my God. Through this so method. especially with COVID. So, so with COVID, the Coast Guard's actually allowed us to take 90 days of leave because originally it's only like what, 60? And you don't get paid for leave. No, we do. So you're getting paid right now. Yeah. I need a drink. I'll drink right now. I dude. need a I drink. That's a drink in yeah. my book. Hold on one second, everybody. That's a big Yes, we cheers. are getting paid to do this podcast right now. We are on the government's budget. At nine at night. <laughs> it's actually Tequila? eleven. Is it? It's almost. No Tequila. way. Tequila. Damn. Yeah, so anyway, so back to Cape May. Yeah, Joey and I, uh, so Joey actually came to me while I was on on base liberty. Oh, we're back to this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's a, it's a great start. Cheers. Cheers, tequila shot. Justin is getting his ass chewed out. I see it. I see a whole paragraph on his phone. No, no I'm, I'm talking, just kidding. I'm, I'm just talking kidding. talking to Abby, and she's like, "Can you tell Yen I said sorry or uh, not sorry? Wow, can you tell Yen I said uh, she misses him." And I'm like. He he says the same thing and fucking come over. Didn't even I, didn't even tell him to him. I I I, knew. I I told him the first week he was here. Oh, I snapchatted him the first snapchatted her the first week he was here. Abby, if you're listening to this, uh, come over. <clears throat> no, we'll sorry. go over the lane. Oh, casters. she's only coming over for a few. Bet. Oh, so we have a guest oh, visitor. Guest visitor, here. Abby. You I haven't know. seen her in three and a half years, actually. All right, Joey. You want to go What's to the Lan- Lancaster, Justin? Yeah, Lancaster's after boys. The, uh, you don't know the other house we take care of. We watch TV over yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah, let's go. It's way more right. spacious than this tiny room. That's a, I live in a. So I live in California, the Bay How? Area. Oof, sorry. Right next to San Francisco. Joey. I live in a studio the size of this room, in Cape May, dude. and I probably pay five times as much as what Fuck. you pay for this room. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You're probably right. That's a big ass. Honestly. No, the the housing Dude, market in San Francisco. The housing I want to go to Cali so fucking I want to go to Cali. No, too. it's super dope. We, the weather is amazing. We want to go to every single Disney that the yes. that the world has to offer and fucking Wait, Cali's so you guys are one big of them. Disney fans. Not, not, no, not, not really. We just want to go to every oh, fucking to Disney. To Disney. No, I totally, no, dude. I'm just telling you right now, California has the best weather in the entirety yeah, of the America. I'm like, jealous. it's every single day, it's clear blue skies, 70, 80 degrees max. Honestly, bro, I feel like I'm going to go next year for my birthday. You definitely just need to, to go. San Francisco go. is a sight to see. I'll let you know. Let me know. I'm there. I can show you all the good spots. Dude, like please. 100%. I want I want to live, I live there. Around. Yeah. Yeah. I just need know? to buy portable podcast equipment. Nah, we'll just Wait. pack it up and use my laptop. No, I can get a, I can get a handheld thing that just records it on that. I got to pee as well, dog. Yo, go pee, dude. Dude, the weather outside is fucking phenomenal to go pee at. Just want to let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven at night, of course. Oh, my tequila shot! No. How much tequila do I have left in that? That's... Way? You've actually almost killed it. What kind of tequila is that, anyways? You want to try it? Yeah. Hey, dude, you probably have two max two shots left. No, that's, one that's one shot, shot baby. One shot. All right. I down it. Pull it down it. If you want, yeah, go ahead. Down it, a hundred percent. What a Who kind guy! Oh, my girlfriend's here. Who that? That's my girlfriend. Julia. Hi, Julia. Um, Who is that? It's Julia. My, my girlfriend. <laughs> that is really good cheers, tequila. Cheers to that. Cheers to uh, that. Julia, the girlfriend, oh, no, no, no. coming to the, tequila, right? to the house. I don't like tequila, but... Oh, my God, that hurts. It definitely makes Bro, you I, feel I good. Bro, I hate tequila. That it'll, make you, good. it'll make you feel good. I already don't feel good after that. Oh, does that mean that the podcast is over? Uh, no, what time have to, we is? Have to wait for Abby. We have to. Do we? Yes. What time is, is that? One hundred percent. What time? Is, what time is it at? It's a uh, one hour and thirteen minutes. Here's the thing. This is her room too. Look, so like, Ju- dude, have her join the podcast. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. Dude, come in. Come Hello. In. Come in. Come in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love your lab coat. Everybody, welcome Julia, Julia to the podcast. To the podcast. 
It's yours. Come on. No, she doesn't. She doesn't we're gonna we're gonna film for maybe twenty minutes more, and then you can have the room. Okay. Oh, she said she doesn't care. Fuck yeah. So another forty minutes. I don't know 20. about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah, I Abby was, I was being generous. Yeah, Abby's Abby's on the way. As soon as Abby's here, five ten minutes, and then we're banging it. We're gonna cheese it. I mean the Lancasters. Let's cheese it, boys. Eiffel Tower. Yo, maybe. Me and you know, Eskimo Bros. Uh, That's dude. Cool. Yo, I'm <laughs> Eskimo Bros with like four different dudes now. Oh, it's I really hate that. weird, dude. It's in, really weird. I hooked guard, up with this dude. girl. And the guard, that's how it is. Julian, dude, tunnel Julian buddies for it. life. Uh, Julian, or, I, wait. I can't drive. <laughs> you know, we are Eskimo bros, wow. right? With who? Lena? He, I already no, ate. So I, I got, the, I got that. Lena. So you can oh, have hummus. I thought we were Eskimo bros. I was supposed to hook up with Lena, but I never did. I'm actually really sad that we're not. Dude, have you have you met yet? Yeah. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Why would you want hummus to eat? <laughs> yeah, because I, I got fucking habaneros in there. I got the other ones. What are the other ones? Cheese, maybe. Not, not the good stuff. Cheese. What are those? Cheese. They're both cheese? That one's garlic and something, right? Garlic oh, and herbs. One yeah, that one's cheddar cheese. Sorry, I'm interrupting. You're good. Bye. It's fine. It's the end of it. it doesn't Love matter. Love you. Bye. Anywho. So, uh, you know, can you name off everybody, everybody in Jersey right now? <laughs> Maybe oh, not. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> First of all, I, I just want to know if we're Eskimo bros or not. Yeah, okay. We, we can bleep it. Just bleep out the last name. Name every name? <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, my memory doesn't go that far, but uh, it goes pretty extensively. I just... I don't want. Are just, we just say it. Just not? say it. Just say it. We'll bleep it out. Say it. Just give me the time before you start saying it out. It's uh, yeah. uh, 116. Uh, 116. 116. Okay. 116. No. 30. No, we're not. No. I'm actually depressed now. Wait. Did... I have a girl like. That's uh, sorry, mom. I'm I so know, sorry. That mom. kind of rings a bell. No. No. No, we're not. We, no. You and I are not tunnel buddies then. Damn. I'm actually you just depressed. call it tunnel, tunnel buddies. Yes. I'm, I'm actually depressed wow. that this is not real. I thought this was real. Are you breaking up with me right now? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? I might have to after this. Cause Yo, this is, bitch, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, fucking right. I thought our relationship ran I'm deeper. I'm so sad because we haven't fucked the same bitch. <laughs> God. Bro, me, wait, so sad. me and four... I'm so sorry, mom. My mom listens to this occasionally. so Occasionally. We, apparent, sometimes we have to say sorry. Sorry, mom. Me and four Disclaimer, other dudes. Sorry to all of our moms. Actually, yeah, if they listen yeah. to me this. and four other Just dudes sorry. have had intercourse with the same girl. Oh yeah. What girl? What's her name? No, Justin. Just I'll, by, I'll drop it here. No, no, no. Uh, hold on. Shut up. Oh okay. Yo, yeah. just by one girl, it's been shared by 40? one, two, three, me? four, four guys. One girl. The guy who's not here. Tommy. Oh Tommy. really? Me, Tommy, Angel, and I think. Uh, a different Chris, not the one, not KDM Chris or you. So you know what? I, 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 so you know what? I actually, I, I kinda, she she's got a fatty. I won't. Lie. I kind of take <laughs> pride. Oh, <yeah>. fatty. <laughs> also, <laughs> also Russian. Pride. So that's how oh, I know. I, that's how I know some Russian. Anybody? Why do you take pride in that? Let's hear it. Why? Why do I think? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Um, because I am unique, and I you are have, you now. I have you ex- are you now. I have unique, exquisite you know. taste. But maybe somebody else wants a taste. And I don't like catching AIDS from you nasty fucks. I'm Either. clean. I got she tested two weeks ago. For the I genuinely arts. got tested two weeks ago. That's actually I'm clean. kind of insulting that you would think that all your friends have AIDS. Yeah. Yeah, what the have fuck, Have you seen dude? you, dude? <laughs> have you yeah. looked have in the you mirror? Looked I saw the first you, ta- you, you looked in the mirror? I asked how many bodies you had in Jersey, and you would not answer. I love it. You would not answer how many bodies you had in Jersey. How many bodies do you have overall? Let's yeah, get what's that. your overall? 50, is, is it more than 10 fingies? 56. So It's more than 10 it's, fingies. It's definitely more than 10. I'm still really jealous you got to uh, have intercourse with your sister's friend. I'm not going to say anything else besides that. Wow, that was... She's Very, she's so attractive. Should I cut though. that out? No, that was oddly... That was oddly... Has a bunch of friends, dog. That was oddly <laughs> specific. Right. 
Yeah, but he knows How, what I'm so talking you, about. So you guys want an exact number? Yeah. It's 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 been over. I'll 10 tell you mine right summer. now. What, what, this summer what, it was probably what's your ten. Guess? My my okay. So vaginal body count because there's two different ones. There is two different ones. Va- vaginal body count is four. Me? No. no for me. For me. No, no, no. For oh, no. your guess? Him, you fucking idiot. Oh, for him. Uh, va- uh, I'm gonna go twenty six. No, dude. I'm ge- oh god he smiled I'm guessing <laughs> I'm guessing like I don't know what he's packing dog I don't know his I don't know his play style I don't know six and a half six huh six and a half for okay. The record. okay I don't know I don't know his packing. play style I, well I don't know Is how this that man like flirts bro 12? I know how Tommy flirts I know how Matt flirts I, I know, know how all my friends flirt I don't know this man's flirt style I don't know how he yes. aims I'm yes. guessing like sixteen plus. <laughs> I'm okay. Let me guess. Let me guess. Joey, guess. You're I know the you coasty best. dog. You're Joey, the coasty. I know you best. Yeah, Joey, go. I want to say at least, at the very least, forty bodies. Oh my yes! god! I want to say at all right, the all right, very. Oh, his least. master chief doesn't count, dog. Si- that was si- <laughs> silence in the room. Fifty-seven. Oh, what? I was, what? I was close. I was close. Do you have a list on your phone? No. Yeah, he has a. Ta- <laughs> He's got a tally on his okay, phone. Okay, that's actually funny because I know a guy that 57. keeps a Polaroid of every How single old are you? girl. No, I love Polaroids. No, My so, but he keeps a Polaroid no, of so, every single so, girl that he's fucked. I'm going to start doing that because no, so far so, no, I have Chris, all four Chris, of them. Chris, 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 <laughs> no, Chris. Justin? Chris, here's what you want to do. Chris, I'm going to go get Chris, Abby. I'm going to go get Justin, Abby. Justin, Joey, this this is the secret. What What is the secret? secret? Other than the musk, because we can't get that. So here's the secret. It's the tequila. No. Even better. Even better. When a girl sleeps with you, so when a girl sleeps with you, the question always is, how many girls have you been with? Oh, you never, because they always ask. You never say, you never answer. No. Correctly. There you go. You answer hypothetically. Smart man. Hypothetically. You, Smart man. Here's the answer you always you, give. You get asked that no, a lot. No, Joey, shut the fuck up. Please be like, you're my first one. No, you say 86. So at that point, they're just a number. And at that point, they're like, oh my God. I got to fuck this dude. Every time. Every time. And it doesn't fail. Because they're trying to set themselves apart? No, they're trying to set a standard. Oh, they're trying to set. A That's standard. what I mean, though. Like set themselves. Oh, apart. so the, so that in their mind they're like, bro, I gotta fuck this guy better than all of his other 80, 86 bitches. Eighty five. Eighty five bitches. Because at the end of the day, she makes eighty six. <gasps> when in reality, she's only twenty something. Uh, no. Well, in your case. In my case, no. It's <laughs> brother. Do you so? Do you tell them the real number? Never. Okay. Never say the. Real but number. what if you ever get to eighty six? Are you gonna be like ninety five? I'll tell him 105. <laughs> I'll tell 105. I don't give a fuck. I'm in the triple digits. What would be great if you pulled up a fucking notepad on your phone and you scroll all the way down? No, it's even better if you pull up all the fucking nudes of 86. <laughs> oh, hey, Abby. What's up? What Howdy. Is going on? You're going to fuck my fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Tiny phenomenal. room. It'll happen. I look ugly. How am I gonna get a VH from you guys? Like <laughs> Abby, I like your. The trick? I like Abby, your hair. Long time to no see. Know. Abby, it's been like three years. Special guest Abby has appeared. Abby. A wild Abby, Abby has appeared. That's fine. It's just laundry that I covered. All right, I back to your here. body count. Go on. Uh, I said body count. So <laughs> <laughs> interesting so, conversation. So, to watch. so you wait, know. you didn't hear the number. I heard it. I heard oh, it. Okay. I'm not gonna repeat it. So no, like what he tells them if they ask how many people oh, yeah. have you had sex with? He said eighty six. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and he said, "Hey, he said, when's the wrong. last time you've been tested?" Uh, two months ago. Okay, good. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Wait, Not really. Can the mic pick? Uh, hear her or no? No. You want this mic? <laughs> Here. Okay. Come, come. No. Okay. No, you definitely. No, we definitely don't get Can tested. No, we do. It's a dude. It's a yearly thing. What the fuck do you Maybe mean? Because the, <laughs> the Navy like just first of all, the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my inappropriate mouth should not be on this podcast. <laughs> we just fucking 
Abby. just went over how many girls he's had sex with. I think you're good. Abby. Your body count? 86. You're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> no? Why is it, so close? Is it, high it high? has to be close. I'm sorry. been a while since i had something close to my face <laughs> oh, uh, xbox, right. record, oh, that? Anywho, xbox record that xbox record that anywho uh, thanks anywho, for watching the cp square podcast uh this has back been your host justin <laughs> anywho back to kate may um oh, <laughs> this is on. an hour-long process oh, dude i told you two-hour on... special yeah, we are still on kate may right? we have not left kate may <laughs> oh, it, it feels like we've left it multiple times we're gonna times have to have you back. on again we're yeah this is definitely gonna be a multi Dude, another episode. Absolutely, absolutely. Another episode. This Dude. one comes out Friday, so. The stupid tattoos you guys have gotten in the military. The stupid tattoo. So everyone it, gets a stupid tattoo. So the stupid tattoo that I have on my fucking. <laughs> thigh Do you right, actually have a stupid tattoo? The tattoo on my thigh says, "I can beat your dad." Oh yeah, let me see it. Can we see, see it? it? Yes. <laughs> Is it just? Well, I mean, Is it cancer. just your cock? <laughs> it's on the side of my dick. No, it's not, dude. Oh man, he's probably not lying. Well, there's a female in the room. And I, I, don't a... I'll cover. I, we... I think I need another BAH. one. This is a serious Abby, thing. we're not in here for the BAH. I'm here for the relationship. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Mr. 86 over here in it for the relationship. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, something. He's in it for the physical emotion. No. Girl, I. Like dinner. The one time in my life. Okay, but Sunday you're coming. Yes, yeah, Sunday I will be there. I have Were cooking. Oh, yeah. He's got family things. I'm making an eight-hour meatball sauce on Sunday. Nice, so. dude. But we go late. Yeah, we go at ten o'clock. Yeah, but you're gonna want to eat a lot. So if you're already eating, it's like not even I'm worth. Making it. eight. It, it's I'm understandable. Really it's understandable. Like you order lemon shots first you of all. You order two of them and you got Abby, fucking you like four tequila? of them. So guys, I literally just took wife, the last shot of tequila. Right this is eighty-seven. <laughs> so I was looking at around this way because you got like some weird shit for a face that has like eight hundred dollars. I'm fine with whatever. Okay. Get the fuck out of Broward County. <laughs> okay, cool. So anyway, guys, I like to say I'm now married. So life's great. Where's the ring? Where's the ring? Um, um. Just well, give her a cock ring. This asshole. Chris, condom and rip the end off. <laughs> so you have a lot of tattoos. Yeah, fuck. Oh yes, I have action. more. Oh, this man actually threw my condoms at him. Can't see. <laughs> really? Actually, yeah. Condom and rip I the end off. My place. buddy has a sad face above his cock. That's, That's actually. Very it's sad. really fun. Very like you know the marshmallow, like really? happy face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's that, but a sad face. But a sad face. Yeah. He of also, course, he gotta... also, he also has a flying pig on his ass. My favorite. He That's wrote. Dope. He was in the middle of writing. He was in the middle Let's of writing go. fuck on his on his um on his thigh and then he realized wait maybe having fuck on me isn't the best. So yeah. he drew a, so boat, drew a boat. Like your typical kindergarten like half so, circle like a a triangle and he 100%. scribbled it in and you could still see fuck in the boat. I want to get it tattooed. I want to get it so bad. It's so look, funny. Look, I actually don't have any. Yeah. Look, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Pulled it up. The fuck boat. I don't have any stupid tattoos. Yeah. No, that's dope. That's Dude, a dope that's tattoo. That's awesome. I only have three, and I love all but three But you can of them. still see the fuck. Yeah, that's the best part. No. <laughs> I want more, ta- more tattoos. I only have one. Everybody has more tattoos than me in this room. <laughs> Abby's currently show- showing off her tattoos. Her ass tat. Not, but, yeah. Everybody in this room has more tattoos than me, and I'm sad. Chris, how many tattoos do you have? I have one. And what is it? What and is it? It's this one on my arm. I can't even get it because it's the same one our father has. Holy but it's, fuck, it's retro. I literally only have one. Pain. It's 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 what my dad has, but it's updated. So it's the version 1.2. Yeah, yeah, and I'm getting I'm getting the same thing. I just have 2.0. I have Adios Symbios Con Dios on my arm, which is goodbye and go with God. Uh, it's from a Zach Brown song. I have a pineapple on my fucking Joey arm and an what? anchor. Stories you have from him. Uh, well, are... hold on. I want to see all of his. I want to know all of his tattoos now. I noticed no. the one on your leg has uh, fresh hair shaved, so that's probably new. Yeah, so the two on my leg are actually done. They were done this month. Those are pretty dope. Um, the one on my left, Sugar Skull, 
It was done earlier this month. The one on my right done. That's actually my most recent tattoo. I have one on my foot. As you know by the fucking That's bitch likes he has. No. <laughs> well, yeah, he had my... to shave it. I- yeah. Abby, Abby wasn't here. I bought a tattoo gun on the podcast. He did, actually. I'm going actually... to gonna... tattoo yeah. yep. the Tequila King on Yen. He's going to tattoo something else on me. Uh, so my favorite tequila is actually Casa Amigos. No, stop! You're fucking lying. Um, no. That's my go-to drink. This is dangerous. so. This is my new my, my new wife. Wow, the same joke in under two minutes. It's your last name. <laughs> no, wait, Damn. So, time so this is actually Abby Marco Pichu sure now. Um, so <laughs> she's actually my wife. God, I wish but we had a video podcast. I have to do my pregame tequila shot. Yeah. Every single time we go out. So she is now the queen of tequila. The queen and the king of tequila. No, I think that's excessive. Because, like, my Getting her tattooed on their other cheek. Large. How large? Like like that big? The size of my palm. That's pretty big. 18 years old. Her palms are larger than my palms, so that is pretty large. They're all sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did you guys take leave together? Uh, no. uh, weird coincidence. Yeah, because they're a couple. No, it was actually a weird. So they're secretly fucking. Joseph Morrissey, Marco Pichu, so we're actually together. Yen. We are. Yen. We are together. Why don't you marry your homie? I'm not even joking. Uh, so actually, so like actually, gay marriage is legal. No, you can get so extra money. Is legal. So actually, get this. So a lot of the guys in, in the military actually do get married just to get the BAH. Yeah. I, I would do the same thing. I would literally be like, yo, Tommy, marry me it's on paper. Like it's two hundred dollar increase. So I actually month. think I actually asked Joey. At it's one like point. a two hundred dollar court thing. You just go to court, you're like, Hey, we're legally no, it's married. It's not even two hundred dollars because the military covers it, I think. The what the fuck? No, so actually, actually, so they my, pay jo- for my it job and covers they give you more it too. Shit? My job covers it too. <laughs> <laughs> it covers everything. Because don't you guys get extra money if you guys live uh, off base? So too? Abby Well no, I already thing. live off. I have base. standards, so so is that a no what? for me? Uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, the last time I saw Yen, me and him made out, and I blacked out shortly after that. And I didn't know we made out until the next day, and he was like, bro, we kissed. And I was like, no fucking way. I would like to confirm Pain. or nor deny that statement at all. <laughs> what was that? I'd like to say that may or may not have happened. I'm not <laughs> sure. Was I at that point? Hypothetically, hypothetically, hypothetically speaking. May or may not have happened. Was that I the last one that he had? There. Wasn't that two years ago? I was drinking from like five and it was like Wait, was I? 9.30 and I was already like. Uh, yes. yes. Was that the time that, that we was just both... like first or second time down? I was video again funneling that day. Because I was like, dude, stop being a pussy. And he fucking funneled for me. Were we? Is that the time that we both left to Florida together? Yeah. That, so that I, w- was I think actually, I was at that party. So that was actually. I think I was at that party. No, yep. I wasn't there. No, I was in California for sure. Get out. <laughs> what time? Uh, one thirty-two. Got it. Yeah, I was in California for sure. We all and were. for your. Sounds like a fun night, though. <laughs> kind of jealous. So, believe it or not, my 21st was absolutely fucking insane. We actually went into the middle of the woods in Yorktown. And um, we bought a whole six-pack of Elysian Space Dust. <laughs> okay, that sounds that sounds like it's infused with weed. What the fuck is that? Elysian Space Dust. Yeah, what the fuck is that? That is, oh my god, it's an 8.2% alcohol, alcohol uh, beer. and um, That's not beer, that's liquor. Liquor, I barely know her, dog. Yeah, I know. Okay. Funny. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, so for my twenty-first birthday, I wow. actually spent that in, in the middle of woods. As you do here. Everyone's taking their nicotine yeah, sorry, break. We all they gotta get their nick hit. Sorry. I'm gonna have a chug of my water. So for my twenty-first birthday, we actually, um, hypothetically. We all, Talking to your microphone. We all hypothetically uh, went into the woods. Well, two of us. I'm not going to. Uh, it's V and N. And so we, we went in the woods and I bought a six pack of Elysian Space Dust because it was the strongest beer that they had there at the exchange. 
and the rest bought some other shit. I forget, I forget what they bought. But I bought a six pack of this shit, and I had to down an entire six pack within an hour. Okay. Oh, that's doable. Cans? Beer. Uh, bottles. Oh, man. Oh, ouch. Bottles. Bottles are somehow harder. And in the middle of my entire 21st birthday, in the middle of the woods, got stopped by, by this one dude. It was him and his two pit bulls. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing in, our, in my woods? In my woods. <laughs> I'm sorry, I burped in the middle of that. <laughs> I burped in the middle of that. Yeah. And, and so he stopped us with his pit bulls. He's like, what the fuck are you doing in my woods? I'm like, dude, this is fucking Yorktown Forest. What the fuck do you mean this is your woods? And so we're sitting there like, all right. Well, we're going to fucking drink the rest of our fucking booze and enjoy the rest of your 21st okay. birthday. And that was, my, that was my 21st, and then I proceeded to play fucking field fucking frisbee. And, oh, my God, wow. I've never gotten <laughs> – I got that shit. Wow. Damn. Wow. 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 <laughs> I never – That's going to be just his text tone. Wow. <laughs> I never knew how to play fucking frisbee my entire life. So here we're playing fucking frisbee, bro. Bro, my entire park is just frisbee golf. I never knew how to play that. I never knew how to play fucking frisbee ever in my life until I turned twenty one, and then I went to go play frisbee with these people, and I was I, I thought it was fucking football. I thought it was football. So uh, here I am, drunk as fuck, on my twenty first. And I'm tackling everybody who has a fucking frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like my fifth tackle. And everyone's like, dude, you cannot tackle people who have the frisbee. I'm like, bro. This is my this... fucking birthday. <laughs> no, not even. Nobody knows it's my birthday. And so they're like, dude, you cannot tackle people who have the frisbee. And I'm like, okay. I'm so going to do keep, it anyways. So I'll do it anyways. Exactly <laughs> it. So I keep stacking people. And so there's this dude, T.E., 250 pounds. That's it? Six two. Oh. He's a big motherfucker, man. And this so like guy, the size of Liam. What's sexier? Is Liam that big? Ouch. Liam's a big boy. He's like six one, I haven't seen six him foot. Since boot camp, so I don't know. Uh, Who? Liam. Are we talking about Liam Jones? No. Liam Newstrom. Oh, no, no, Newstrom. No, 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 no. Light, light skin guy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah, small world. Yeah. <laughs> and so, what's it called? So he tackles me. And this guy's a straight fucking muscle man. He has, dude. He's been working out for two years, three years. <laughs> It's a long difference, but anywho, <laughs> anywho, 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 um, he's like, dude, you can't fucking tackle people. This isn't that. And I'm like, okay, fine, oh, fine, the, fine, shoot fine. The shoot the frog out. Shoot the frog out. You can't, it's an ad. Look, frog hat. Frog hat. Frog hat. I bought a frog bucket hat. I bought two of them, actually. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, right? Yeah, I have a super cursed image of me. Hold on. <laughs> Did I send it to you? Dude, yesterday Yins comes in and just hands me a, a pack of Angry, or- Angry Orchards with three bottles in it. Oh, wow. It's super baked. Yeah. It's super no, baked. Chris, what is in that? And, bro, I, I'm like, I, I jiggle it around. I'm like, there's definitely beer in here. And I reach my hand in and I feel beer on, like, the opposite side of my hand. So I go to reach in more and I feel something, like, hard, kind of, like, grip tape. I love it. Ish, like, I love it. and like, rigid. Is that a, like, like a uh, Nerf gun? No, that's a real firearm. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that. I can't, I can't really see the picture. <clears throat> I'm, I'm reaching in to grab the beer, and I feel something really fucking hard, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I put it down, and I open it up, and it's just his gun. Just, it's his handgun. I pull it out, and I'm like, this isn't fucking beer. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he just he casually, put it, he just a casually has a handgun in a fucking eighteen pack of Angry Orchards, and Chris is like, "That's not a fucking beer," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah," <laughs> and he just grabs out another beer. Like nothing ever happened. It was fucking hilarious. This was last night, <laughs> like right after I came back from school too. I'm like, "Yeah, I want a beer, handgun." 
Oh, cool. I'm buying that same gun probably tomorrow. At what Nexus. what model is it? It's a. P... It's a CZP07. Yeah. Oh, which one? The Instagram or Snapchat? Snapchat. Oh, Snapchat. Yes, the top ten bro moments. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, it's fucking great because every single time I see it, he's like. His face drunk. And yes, no. Every, yeah. Every weekend when I'm not deployed, it's definitely every fucking weekend, and I love it. My uh, my private Snapchat story is, "Hey Siri, play me like she did." <laughs> and then I. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. You don't have me on your private. I have story. to add you. That's it's crazy, dangerous. Actually. It's a little Uzi hurt. That's insane. Abby, so what? What is new with you? <laughs> What's new with me? Um, you got 10 minutes to sum it up. Okay. Uh, I almost died last year. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <laughs> no, I got really sick. Context. Um, no, I got really sick. I was in the hospital for most of 2020, because fuck 2020. Um, all I do is work. Don't look at me. I don't, I don't know, know what else. He doesn't uh, run I'm your life. Right now. Oh, all I do is work yeah. out. Yeah. Get stupid tattoos. She gets really drunk with me a lot. Okay, so cool. So that is yeah, but that's exactly fun. My, sums up my entire life in the past <laughs> two years. Bro, move the mic month. up. For me? You, yeah. yeah. Is it falling down? Test, test. I guess it's fucking... I guess it's weak. Is the tequila really gone? Yes, yeah. look, at the bo- look at the bottle. That explains a lot. So, yes, I definitely drank the entire bottle of tequila by myself. So, yeah, so the queen of tequila is here. Yes. I'm the not king confident. does Am need I the queen. Am I tattooing the king of tequila and the queen of te- te- tequila? Yeah, no, I'm about. Yeah, I can tattoo you? Yeah. Oh, like fuck yeah. A picture before because I already have stupid tattoos. I don't need like a shitty stick and poke like we're 13, but. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get you right. I'll get you right. All right, bet. He won't. Bet, fuck you bet, bet. All right, beforehand it was a joke about buying it, but I'm actually going to buy it. At least you never bought it. Amazon. No, oh, that's Video Prime. Amazon. He was joking about it, and now. Now that I have two clients. It. Now. Now that. Proceed to check out. Now that that $60 got split between two people. Place my order. He's like, perfect. It'll be here May 10th. $30 on a tattoo? Uh, I spent thirteen hundred. All right, my order has been confirmed. How much have you spent on tattoos? Way too much. <laughs> Way too much on tattoos. No, I like it. I like. I'm digging it. Yeah, no, I got two more this week actually. After Yo, this Joey, I should say, dude, those are some pretty fucking tight tattoos. Oh, thank you. No, you're gonna tattoo it inside my lip. That's what I want. I want. Yo, so actually, fun fact. Fun fact. My tattoo artist was actually gonna give me a free tattoo. On the inside of my lip. What were you gonna get? Memes. I'm thinking like each share. Sit here. It was. I really wanted to get bite here on my lip, but a little edgy. No, sit Um, here. Wow, sit here. (laughs) Sit here. (laughs) You showing him the tattoo gun? So yeah, back to so so back so back to Kate May. Back to Kate May. Back to Kate May. So yeah, Joey fucking found me. Hour and forty two fucking... minutes. Uh, K May. Yeah, that's that's when we met. Not when we met, but when it started blossoming. That's when it started blossoming, dude. And so K May was it. That's when we fucking started partying and <laughs> forgot <Squeak>! about forgot <laughs> forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> he just had it away from him for the past twenty minutes. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Anywho, so yeah, no, so I was on on base liberty dur- during Cape May. I know he's really drunk. You look like a dad. <laughs> You're built like a dad too, dude. You got the like a hundred percent. Now all you need you to do is hand. cook a bunch the of burgers sandals. and we're good. <laughs> like- That's not true. His beer doesn't have a koozie. That's absolutely right. But he has but to where's watch the koozie? on. We we could get him a Allie, koozie. Uh, Allie, Allie, Abby, oh. open up the fridge. Open up the fridge. No freezer. Sorry. Freezer. <laughs> There's a yeah. Grab that. Oh. You know what to grab. The, the camel thing. Oh, okay. There we go. Boom. I there you go. So level three fucking perfect protective vest. Dude, you look like a fucking goose. It can be. 
You look like a boot. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you just need like a Coast Guard shirt. That's all you need. That's all you're missing. Justin, where's Surprise my fucking camp. juggernaut Jeez. one? Jeez. You took it and never gave it back. Like I knew you would. You're like, I'm going to take this. I'm like, no. And then you took it. I've been blacked out in my room too many times to remember where the fuck I put my car keys. Which so party? In Marlboro? Yeah, which one? Radical one dude. <laughs> Xbox, record uh, that. Eight. Radical dude. Allie. Oh, Allie. You remember Allie? I remember Allie. That was a good night. Was remember White Dress flow. Girl? Yes, that was her. Yeah. That was her. No, that wasn't her. The real question is, what number was she, though? No, you were. That you was were, number sixty. You didn't fuck her though. You didn't no, fuck her. No, I did. No, you didn't. Allie? You did not fuck Allie. Yes, I did. In it depends Marlboro? on what state I'm in if I fucked her or not. That's a really sick wide body challenge. That didn't right? happen. I know I want. I fucked her in the fucking family <laughs> gym room. And you're proud of that? Yes. <laughs> Does she have cheeks? Eh. No, I remember that. You oh, tried to smoke did. a cigar. Oh, Do you remember trying to smoke a cigar with her? So I actually had a twenty-five dollar cigar. That Yo, night. boys. First of all, Yen, talk in the mic. Second of all, I got three cigars if we want to fucking light up after. I'm not much of a cigar guy. Really? I love cigars. I'm down. Da- I'm down to fucking light up a cigar. I bought them for my birthday. Abby, you were there. You were there. I never smoked them. I'm so down Abby, to smoke I a see cigar. That's a scam. Drive the BAH. It ain't no. there. The Tricare. She wants the Tricare. BH free Medicare. What is there not to like about you now? Dude, this doesn't have a fucking the beard. Boss. The beard. What? That's the, the best part. Mustache ride. Oh my god. Say less. Wow. I think it's my cue to leave, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yes, dude. Allie, dude. Fucking Allie. <laughs> You dude, didn't fuck her, dude. Yes, that did not I did. That night. I had no, fucking. I was I, there that night with Vinny. I, that did not happen. I fucking fuck, dude. I fucked her in the gym. This is two drunk idiots now complaining. I fucked her in the gym, <laughs> I dude. Her, bro, I swear. <laughs> in the gym and fucking. What's your name? Uh. Yeah. Hold up. Where's Mustard and bologna sandwich was her name. Okay, let's say, let's say you fucked her. Yo, dog. Joey, talk in the Hypo- mic, dog. Hypo- <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, you fucked Abby. What happened next? Ab- Abby. No, Not. What's her name? Allie. 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 It there you go. A- it started with a nice dinner. Same. And then we <laughs> saw her ass. She asked me if. I- <laughs> now she's getting railed. Same syllabi. No, Anyways. Allie asked me if I Damn, was. Damn, that took done. fucking what? Five minutes. <laughs> She asked me if I was fucking done, dude. That was, that was so embarrassing. You guys dude. have my consent. <laughs> yeah, we have that on. We audio. got verbal consent, wait, boys. Wait, Let's go. We got that on recording. <laughs> so it was no. right in the mic too. Perfect, clear audio. I'm gonna use that in court. Oh my god. That's that's just that's her gonna be. That's gonna be your text tone. I give you guys consent. Oh, no. I can't wait to get texted from Abby <laughs> all the time. She's gonna specifically only snatch at me from now on, just because I have her that as a text tone. So let's hear it. No, no. Let's talk about the fucking bottles we had. <laughs> Boys, you got two minutes to wrap this up, and I'm calling it. Two minutes. Well, you got like five. Dude, that's like how long you last. It's fine. You can use that time. Two. All right, minutes. two minutes. Yeah, but two minutes times eighty six is what? Two minutes with Allie. <laughs> Allie. I was gonna say seven minutes no, in heaven. Let's talk about the fucking bottles that we had. The bottles? Yeah. Oh, every weekend in New Jersey. Yeah. yeah you want some? Uh, we're minding. So, anywho, so <clears throat> let's start with the fucking like nine bottles of fucking loveliness that we had in the fucking couch. Yes, that did happen in Jersey. Me and L did crush nine bottles of rumplements on our own in Jersey every single weekend, and there was housing inspections. Nine bottles. Yeah. And you would hide it in your couch because of housing inspections. So eventually it added up to nine whole bottles of liquor that mean you have finished. Every weekend. It was bad. Hypothetically. Liquor. So how did you throw them out? Nowhere. One by one. Cool. Literally one by one. Occasionally. I'd get crazy. Would you buy one once a week? Yes. Good man. Good man. 
So occasionally, I would, class. <laughs> I would do three bottles at a time. Three bottles. Uh, not just one, but three. All these audio clips. What? <laughs> Sorry, keep going. <laughs> I can't wait for like one day for one of us to get fucking famous and then we're just gonna blackmail the fuck out of each other. Like, remember this one time? Yeah, so, this is so all recorded. Canceled. Yo, so this is all get, recorded. So remember this one time you said your body count was fifty six? No, so, eighty six eighty five. So, so get this. So get this. <laughs> I actually want want to run for president one day. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, okay. this podcast. I would blow honestly the vote for up. you, even though Yo, I don't know dead, what you dude, stand for. Being dead serious. You I probably should have not recorded this pro- podcast then no I, I, no dude, what do you mean this podcast is gonna be famous <laughs> so the day i went for president this i will not is gonna care cancel you. if oh. i it's 20 i would never hold on tommy's calling me for some reason yo tommy you're on the cp squared podcast what's going on bud are you still going yeah we are but we're about to wrap it up in like one minute oh damn just come oh, over did... come to the lancasters hey i'll be there in a second you all right fucking... Bitch! Wait. What? Um, feature me on the cast. You're you're on speaker, dog. You're on the CP Squared podcast. What's up, losers? It's Tommy, Tommy Schmidt, the man. Um, this kid fucking blows, dude. I had a pasta. What the fuck dinner is this guy? Dude, just fucking Schmidt. hang up on this kid. Pasta dinner? That sounds pog as fuck. Hurry your ass and get over here. Uh, we can't. Julia's home. Tell Julia to shove it. No. Please. No. Pog. That's not pog. I know. Just come over this quickly. Is fuck. I'm this kid's there. a loser. All right, love you. Bye. This kid's a fucking bomb. I hung up on him. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many people to add now. <laughs> and and so in the description. I just touched it with my nose. <laughs> I gotta go, boys. <laughs> so, dude. Xbox, record that. <laughs> dude, we have so, dude, we have so much shit we have to talk about on this story. Yeah, we literally did not talk about anything. That well, we you got you guys talking last... about quite a bit. Let's be honest. In the no. last two hours, dude, Chris, this is not even a fucking half of it. I'm sure there's way more. Oh, hundred percent. You guys will just have to come back during the week. Hospital. Oh yeah, dude, I'm fucking dying. I told you guys that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? A lot. What's wrong? If my insides are rotting on the inside out, it's okay. Grab a tequila and just slap that bitch on. Insides the are rotting inside out. Yeah. How? It's pretty heavy. No, oh, no, we're good. I've drinking way more tequila than you have, and <laughs> you're complaining. Oh no, not at all. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? I don't think you can do. I don't think you can do that with life. Yeah, actually. you can. I mean. I mean, like fucking full sun. Full sun. Yeah, you got a point. Want me to take you all back and put you down like the family dog? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Just watch the flowers, sweetheart. Just look at the flowers. <laughs> yeah. I got verbal consent to blow her brains out. <laughs> well, <laughs> Maybe we should cut that out. You said it, not me. <laughs> You're really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement. That's a Tommy way understatement. Understatement. You know, how are we getting home? Uh, you can hang out at the Lancasters for like two hours and sober up. Yeah. I should start talking to the microphone. We can hang out at my yeah, other let's house. let's end the podcast. All right. Well, thank you all for watching the CP Square podcast or listening to, uh, rather. Of I'm course. still not the host, Justin. Who the oh, fuck wait. Are you? We have Tommy! a special guest, Thomas. Tommy, Tommy speak Schmidt! your point of mind. We're ending the podcast. Hello. I'm back. <clears throat> You're all faggots. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching the CP Square podcast. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll Get see you next week. Get drunk on weekdays. Do coke. Yeah, love you. Bye.